Okay. Um, let me... muted <laughs> my mic was muted was anybody gonna tell me was anyone oh plume told me thank you thank you plume yeah my pc blue screened so i'm gonna have to investigate that later i've never had it blue screen during a stream like that before but hi everybody welcome back i am so sorry <laughs> i'm so sorry that my stream died hello we held the chaos thank you Thank you very much, everyone. But yeah, I feel bad. I always feel bad when stuff like that happens. We back, though. What did I miss? Because my whole chat, like, restarted, too. So I don't know if I missed anything. Um, but yeah, stream did not want to pull. I could try to do it again, but I'm a little afraid now. <laughs> I'm a little scared. I'm a little scared. So maybe, can we just, can we do, like, a, like a fake poll where everyone just says what they would pick? If you would pick Final Fantasy VIII, can you do like a squall jam? Or just put a one? And if you would pick Final Fantasy VII, um, you can do this cloud emote. Or you can put FF7. We'll just do a poll that way because I'm scared. Oh, it's okay, Riku. I appreciate it. I'm just sorry that it, it crashed. I'm curious to see. The poll will help us feel safe. The poll scares me now. It completely like shut down my stream. I'm so terrified now. <laughs> I'm so scared, but it's okay. Oh, Riku, I already have that as my wallpaper. Hold on, I'll show you. I already have it as my wallpaper, but thank you. I appreciate it. I do already have it though. I've had it for a long time now. I didn't know we had a squall jam. We do have a squall jam. Hold on, I'm gonna go get this over here. Found a draw point drubble. Drubble? But yeah, I feel, I feel bad whenever stuff like that happens. It's only happened like twice before. Once because of a power outage, but blue screens kind of scare me because I don't, I've never really had them very often and I'm not very technologically savvy. So I'm gonna have to check like what caused it to do that. Cause nothing stresses me out more than stuff like that. BTTV is very cool, well said. You got snackies while stream was down. What kind of snacky did you get? Okay, let's go this way. No good, it won't open. But thank you everybody for sticking around. I appreciate it. Alone's in here. Okay, so I have to go this way? Whoa. W what the? <laughs> Sit down. <laughs> Is this gonna work? Popcorn and tomates? That sounds yummy. I don't usually eat popcorn very much. But I did see something really interesting at the gas station when I got these. Um, there was a, they had like Cheetos popcorn, but it's like the Flaming Hot Cheetos or like the Cheddar Jalapeno like Cheetos. And they have them. You had stream on in the background and didn't realize stream went down. Yeah, unfortunately it did. Welcome back, SARS. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that it crashed. reloading it was being asked to that's just on twitch that's a bummer though i hope nobody else got hit by stuff like that too i wonder why twitch is being stinky hmm? how do i say an exclamation point <gasps> what does an exclamation point sound like to people <gasps> 
just a yell, like a yelp. Yeah. Like I don't understand what it would be. Maybe the exclamation point is silent. Maybe they just went. Maybe that's what that means. Because I can't imagine that they would just yell out exclamation point, you know? That doesn't seem accurate. Hi, Lagaya! I have returned! Honestly, I think normally I would be more stressed out, but because today has already been kind of stressful and emotional for me, I... <laughs> when that happened with my PC, I was just like, okay, I'll just come back and we'll restart stream and we'll play a bit more and see how it goes. But honestly, that kind of stuff, like that technology stuff usually stresses me out way more. Is this my new like laid back arc? Has my anxiety switch been, no it's not. That's not true. That's absolutely not true. There's no way to turn off my anxiety switch. It's just a constant. Hi Phantom. Hello. Thank you for the small hello. How are you doing? Thank you for the lurk. Activating combat mode. Hi Iceman. No worries, I hope you feel better. I'm sorry that it hasn't been like the best day. But yeah, enjoy your lurk. Thank you for the sub for five months. I appreciate it very, very much. Take care of yourself, please. Mm -hmm. But yeah, thank you for the lurk, Phantom. Here are all my GFs. I want the HP up. I think that would be cool. I don't want that. So I'm gonna be lurking and unplugging myself today. I'm trying to think of what else I would like. But yeah, Iceman, I hope that you end up doing better. I'm sorry that it's been such a rough day. Uh, let's see. What else do I want? I think that's it. Hi, El Toro. Thank you for the hug. Yes. Unplugging can honestly be very, very nice to do. Um... I think that's part of the reason, like, I'm excited for my vacation in a way. Like, I'll be able to unplug a little bit. But I already know, like, I have... So I don't know if anyone else has this, but there's, like, certain streams that I like to, like, hang out and chat in. And so I am kind of nervous because I'm not going to be able to do that. It's the same thing as, like, my routine. Like, I have a routine that I like to do, like, pretty often. And then whenever that routine gets disrupted, I get, like, anxiety. Like, general anxiety. I don't know if that's, like, explained well enough but you know hopefully it does let's see thank you jackie thank you i think curlatros can do a good job i think so he like the only thing that curlatros really has to do is call himself um come Litros every single time <laughs> it'll be a perfect role play <laughs> Oh, let's see. What else do I want? Oh, yes. And the Zack Dancies. That's true. Wait, I already almost have everything for Plume learned. That's wild. I haven't learned Doom yet either. Plume, you already almost know everything. What's it like to know everything? Okay, here we go. I think we're good. I think we're ready to kick some booty. Maybe? Alone! 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 Darn, she can't hear me. Can I open the thingy? Let her out! I'm hacking the mainframe, I think. Wait, Riku! Thank you for gifting us up to Allie! Allie, I hope you enjoy the emotes. Riku, thank you so much! <laughs> Thank you, thank you. That's very kind of you, thank you. Hi, Hunk Solo, how are you? We in combat mode now. Mm. Thank you for the clappy, Slamma. Thank you for the validation. El Toro, how are you doing? Unlocked. Oh, I unlocked the door. Aw, oh, Riku, I appreciate that. I'm sorry that Twitch has been stinky. It seems like Twitch has been stinky for everyone today. And honestly, even though it's not my fault, I still feel like I need to apologize a lot. <laughs> I'm sorry! Yes, you can now Zacky dance. You can do the Zack dancey. Uh. Get your Zack dances on. 
when Tony teaches me how to use Blender and like all of those programs, I hope you guys know it's over. It's over. Like, you guys see, hold on. You see this dancing squall right here? Thank you! Slam a thank you for the biddies! It's awkward because there's no sound here. Hold on. Give me a second. Give me a second. Hold on. Thank you for the hype train! There's never sound on this one when I don't have music playing. <laughs> I, I'm sorry, Jackie. I kind of want to see it. I really want to see it. You mentioned that and I really want to see it. Uh, you're going to put an all-nighter with editing. Oh, good luck, El Toro. I hope editing goes well. Um, but thank you for the hype train. Let me put on my Moogle headband. Wow. I'll put on the hood again in a little bit once it's not too hot. But once I know how to use Blender, Jackie, I can also like tag you whenever Tony shares the video so that we can both learn and we can create the best cursed things ever. But this little guy right here, I'm gonna make every like 3D Final Fantasy character that I can. Like Genesis, you're gonna get it. Norg, you're gonna get a dancing Norg. You're gonna get all of the dancing Final Fantasy characters until you're sick of it and you tell me to stop. Good night, Stiff! I hope you have a good rest. It was good to see you. Please get your sleep. Thank you for liking the brisket jacket. It's actually a brisket cosplay. Um, hold on. Hi, Byron, by the way. But I just, I did not have the hood on because it's really hot. Give you dancing, you stole it? Okay, I can do that, I think. But yeah, it's really hard to get the hood to stay on how brisket wears it. And with the, the Moogle headband, it's not so easy. But there you go. Yeah. But thanks. Thanks for noticing it's brisket. Blender is kind of a scary program. I opened it and it scared the crap out of me. I do think that Mixamo is a bit easier to use. <laughs> You're playing League of Legends with RE Daydreams. Good luck, Lagaya. I hope that you guys win. You call Bridget brisket? It, that's like the meme name for Bridget, right? Doesn't everybody call Bridget brisket? At least that's what Twitter taught me. Maybe I shouldn't listen to Twitter. <laughs> Twitter teaches me things about characters and I'm like, wait, is Twitter wrong? Maybe Twitter is not the most reliable source, but I see it in memes all the time. Cause she be balling on everyone. I saw that mod that makes like her into a basketball player. I can't do basketball though. Hello? Hello? Hurry, go see her. Okay. Hello. I don't know if it's spread beyond Twitter. I guess we'll see if it gets referenced. I hope so. Twitter is often wrong. Oh, that I know. That is definitely true. But with memes, how can Twitter ever be wrong? No, I'm just kidding. Alone. Uncle Laguna. I don't know how to sound like a child. How do children sound? I'm terrible at this. For Allie only. I clicked it already. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. I know that you said for Allie only, but I'm betraying you right now. I am betraying you and I'm showing this to everyone. I'm so sorry. This is the best thing I've ever seen in my entire life. <laughs> Uh, get it, Pooh! Yeah! <laughs> he is twerking. Hi, Sean! Are you on your way home? I saw the text from your parents. Did they pick you up? Are you on your way home? Hi. What is this cursed shit? This is beautiful. This is art. This is gonna be, you know, when the, when the Mona Lisa, when we're tired of it, when we're tired of it, this is gonna go where the Mona, the Mona Lisa is, all right? You're gonna walk in, and it's just gonna be this, <laughs> okay? This is gonna be this poo. <laughs> Activating combat mode. <gasps> Luke, hi! Thank you for the sub. For 51 months, I appreciate it. Hi, Soidoka. It's Final Fantasy VIII if you believe hard enough. But. Na, 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 na. Thank you. Luke, how are you? Can we get a shout out from Luke, please? Wait, you, you have me on stream with your mom? Your mom is listening to me right now?
I'm just, I'm, oh my god, I can't handle that pressure. I'm, 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 time to be silent. You're surviving barely. I'm sorry, Luke. I hope that you end up doing okay, though. What have you been up to? Have you still just been playing Destiny 2 or have you been doing new stuff? You had surgery to repair a hernia? Holy shit. I hope that you're having a good recovery at least. It turns out you had four of them? Luke, you're built different. How did you just like live through, like, I don't mean live through, but I mean like, how did you like have to like go through your daily life with four hernias? That seems like, I think I would pass away with like half a hernia. Like you are a champion, holy shit. But I hope that you're having a speedy recovery. Hi coach. Hello, how are you? Welcome in. Apparently the doctor did you- Oh my god, I'm so sorry, Luke. I feel like you should sue that doctor, but I know it's expensive. Uh, it's going okay, Soy! I miss Sean a lot. Um, he went home today, so I miss him a lot, but how are you? We're all listening. That's so much presser, Sean! I can't talk. Prether? <laughs> it's Prether. You're not looking because Jackie said that's for Allie only. Slamma, you have to look though. It's so good. I'm gonna just send it to Slamma, but I'm gonna like do one of those things where like the link changes and I'm gonna be like, look Slamma, it's a cute dog. And then Slamma's gonna click on it and then I'm gonna trick Slamma. It's gonna be like the poo roll of the Rick roll. <laughs> I'm going to lie. <laughs> It'll be a terrible lie. Kyan, hi! Thank you for the 200 biddies. Find that doctor you just want to talk. Your mom wanted to. I. Holy shit, Luke. What the fuck? You should sue. I think your mom is on the right track. You should absolutely sue. Also, thank you, coach. How are you, Kyan? I did save alone. I managed to do it. You just came back from a ramen restaurant. My food coma. As you should. Ramen is delicious. Like, absolutely delicious. Yeah, we're Guilty Gear Striving and Lagoon in. See, I told you I'd come save you. Aww, they're so cute, but what kind of hug is this? What, what kind of hug is this? What is he doing? Is he doing like a coochie coochie coo? <laughs> like, what is this? I have no idea what's happening. Who? I think if I ever meet a low res hug, okay. <laughs> It's like we're head banging, but we're hugging. I <laughs> He's rubbing his face on her. Is it like a coochie coo? A <laughs> headbutt. All right, you now headbutt people. You're doing well at work. Won't be able to stay for long. No worries, Kyan. I hope you have a good day at work. Thank you so much. I'm glad that people like this cosplay. Wait, we're back. Okay, now we can do card games. Squall, are you? Wait, that's a D. I'm sorry. <clears throat> Squall, are you all right? Something's coming, dude! I can't wait to hear how how Slamma voices Zell. I think when anybody plays uh, Final Fantasy VIII, the thing I look forward to most is how they, vo they voice my son. Thank you, coach! I appreciate it. Think Major Hughes from Full Metal Alchemist. Okay, that makes sense. It just looks weird in low res. It looks very funny. Sorceress Adia? Yes. We came here to see Dr. Odine. Please explain what this is regarding. Yes, of course. I want to see Alone. Where is she? Alone? B wanted B. <laughs> B constipated! <gasps> oh my god, wait, what? How does that sound? I made him sound like a surfer dude, and that's just what I'm going for. Some people say he sounds like a stoner. I I don't know. I just wanted to go for the gnarly dude. And then he like rides that little like hoverboard thing and I feel like it's fitting. It is fitting. He's also obsessed with hot dogs. So I feel like it's accurate. But maybe I am incorrect. Zell's voice is the, the sound of who? Thank you for the hype train, everybody. Y'all are so sweet. Thank you so, so much. I will wear the headband some more, but I got to take the hood off because it's getting too hot again. No worries, Clock. I hope you have a great night. Thank you. My Zell voice is perfect. Jackie, I think if they ever do a Final Fantasy VIII remake, I think they should hire us. You have to be Norg, and I have to be Zell, I guess. I think that would be perfect. But yeah, good night. Good night.
Squall, calm down. Trust me. Let me handle this. I am the Sorceress Adia. Please come with us. I don't think that's how they would have said that, but I'm, I, I did it anyway. Thank you for the follow, by the way. Much appreciated. I do have anonymous follows turned on because I don't like calling people out of lurk. If you do want to say hello, we'd love to get to know you. If you'd rather stay lurking, it's totally okay. You're this dolphin? I mean, that's a pretty sick dolphin. Hi, Wraith Wall. How are you? Amazing. This city is a bit, like, insane. They just hid this behind, like, some glitchy wall. We'll be arriving at the presidential palace shortly. Am I on original hardware? I am on the PlayStation TV. I hope Dr. Odine is there. I didn't get to read Zell's line, and I'm a little, blah, 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 I'm a little upset. But I'm playing on a PS TV. Yeah. It's as close to original hardware as I can get because I don't have a retro TV. So yeah, I hope you all enjoy. <laughs> that is the very reason I am here. I want to play Triple Triad. I seek the doctor's help. I wish to be free of Sorceress Ultimicia's control. That will be easy. Why will it be easy? Why does he walk like that? He just like stomps. He's like stomping towards me. We just exercise the Sorceress. There is nothing Odin cannot do. I leave everything in your hands. So you want to see alone? Where is she? I have to bring Renoa to her. We need to see alone now. So you will take Odine hostage? You are a fool. I don't care. Just take me to alone. Hi, MQ. How are you? How's your evening? Do as he says. I give thee permission. Very well. Thank you very much, MQ. This is my last cosplay before I go on my trip, but I appreciate that. Thank you so, so much. I'm very excited. I have a lot of like cosplays planned for when I come back. Um, so yeah, I am very excited to show you guys all of them. It should be very fun. I'm a little nervous for some of them, but I'm still very excited. <laughs> I have an upcoming trip. I do, from October 14th until October 24th, um, I will be on vacation. Um, I will be visiting like the Greek islands as well as Croatia. I'm gonna take like 8,000 pictures um, and I'm gonna miss everyone a lot because my internet's gonna be stinky. But I'll be back before you know it, I think, maybe, I don't know. But under one condition, you must let me observe this girl. Your mom's Croatia? What does that even mean? Hi gimmick, how are you? Well, we would need time to prepare before we take you two alone. So you will leave the girl with us until then? Accept their offer, Squall. You better not do anything to Renoa. Or he'll kick your ass. Can I challenge them to cards, though? Wait, I should save. Is there a save point? Head to the Lunar Gate. Where can I save? I want to play cards. Um, If I was a Lunar Gate, where would I be? question hmm this does not look like a save point this looks like a thing just auto save this game is too old for auto save can I hack this no the music here is very cool though I like this area a lot it's very pretty I can, can you imagine playing this back in like 1999 like on a ps1 like looking at this and be like this would be so cool if I was a child playing this game in 1999, I think my heart would have, like, bursted. If you weren't alive then, you're a youngin. Entry, not permitted. <laughs> That's what you think? Okay. Better yet, FF9 in 2000. I mean, true? Yeah, you're 12. <laughs> Don't say that! You can't say that! Sometimes there's that like little that little bot thingy that goes around and like deletes people's accounts or like permanently bans them because they say that they're 12. You can't joke about that kind of shit. Twitch will like kick your ass. Leave the palace? No. 
I just want a save point. You're older than me? Wait, how old are you? We don't necessarily have to talk about age, but still. Yeah, Final Fantasy IX in 2000 would have been cool, but I think the story would have flown like right over my head. Because I was born in 1992, so <laughs> I was very young. I do think the story of this game might have flown over my head, but not as much. Like, not as much. Like, I think, I think Final Fantasy IX would have just blown my brain into bits. Would have, like, melted it into goo. Was the best. I don't remember 92 at all. I know I was born then, but I don't remember it. You were born in 91. Oh, you're a year older. That's not that much. What the fuck? Were we just on like a little like technology beetle? Like what were we doing? You're old enough to be my dad. That's just not true. That is completely false. 96. Okay, so you kind of young. 95, you kind of young. Hi, Tushy. Thank you for loving the cosplay. How are you? You don't remember anything significant? I don't remember anything significant in my life uh, until like third grade. Look at Adia go. I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. 96 here, by the way. Pop off. Look at all these 90s kids. Mm. Finishing sentences is hard. As a streamer, it's almost impossible. Blizzard? Okay. Wait, why can't Adia draw anything? Does she not have draw? Oh, she doesn't have shit. Okay. Okay, we might have to rejunction Adia. That's really awkward. Okay. Oh, that's right. Because I gave it all to Irvine. Like, Irvine has all of her stuff. That's correct. Right? Irvine should have it. Maybe? Maybe not. Oh, no. Yeah, he does. Okay. That works for me. Okay, we're gonna exchange. Give all. This explains a lot. Holy gosh dang, okay. She already has 100 death. Wait, what? Oh, cause I gave it to her, okay. Holy lord. You wish you played these games when you were younger? You don't remember anything significant in my life? That's true, I, I mean, I. My memory is bad, but not that bad. You're doing good. What's your plans for the week, Tushy? You wish you played these games when you were younger? You were so intimidated when, with RPGs? I just didn't grow up with them. Um, my family, pretty much, like, the way that we would play video games was if our parents got them for us. So for me, it was like I, I didn't have the money to get them myself, so I kind of just went with whatever, like, my family purchased for my sisters and me, you know? So, like, we grew up with, like, Legend of Zelda, like, Mario games, all that stuff. I had Harvest Moon growing up. The Harvest Moon, It's a Wonderful Life and all that stuff. But, I don't know. I just, my family did not get JRPGs. I don't think they really, like, played it that much. Like, my dad didn't play RPGs that much. So, that's kind of why we didn't end up, like, owning them. But it's okay. Like, I'm happy that I get to play them at all. Like, I would have appreciated playing some of these when I was younger, but I'm happy that I can play them now, at least. You need to remember where your family lived, played the games you played and the TV shows you watched? Yeah, I would say that's probably around the same for me. Let's see. The only thing that's gonna suck about this is she's gonna like, leave my party at some point. Like, she has to. And that's gonna suck, because... I'm gonna have to like redo all this. <laughs> I'm using the long way around. Well, I swapped the junctions already, but I have to... Actually, was Kiraga that I had on here? I think so, right? Holy shit. Look at her HP. What the heck? Okay, queen. Holy lord. 
Did I see her limit? We have seen her limit, yes. It was very cool. I don't want to put Meltdown on her. Unless it's, like, stronger, but I don't think so. Yeah, it's not. That was kind of nuts. Probably shouldn't put, like, too many, like, spells on there because I'm trying to make her magic. Okay. She has 6,000 HP. I don't know a faster way to switch magic, though. Like, I know how to switch the junction exchange, but Irvine's junction switched, but not his magic. So I still had to give him, like, all the, like, I, ha I still had to transfer all the magic over. If there's a faster way to do it, let me know. But, I don't know. I can use switch. I can use, like, exchange all. Ah, okay. I just did it via this way. <laughs> Evidently, that is not the way. Uh, let's see. We can heal him back up. I'm gonna leave her at this and see what happens. Wow, how long has it been since we had visitors? You guys literally lock everybody out. That car, it looked unusual. This side is called the right side. If you wish to exit the city, stay on the right side. You can get to the city entrance quickly if you take the lifter. Are you going to Lunar Gate? Head east from the city. Okay. It's faster if you're trying to move it all from one character for another, like after the sequences. Yeah, that was the struggle. Is I made it so that Irvine, I think, is junctioned with like, um, or like Irvine was connected to one of the other characters in Laguna's party. But the struggle with that was that um, I have a Dia in the party here. So she obviously can't be chosen for that. So it was just kind of awkward. I hope they give me a chance to like switch her junctions over. Hi, where did you come from? Uh, the wall? Maybe it's about time we made an effort to welcome foreigners. I would appreciate it. I wanna be like welcome here. Via air station, via inner skyway. Am I going the wrong way? Wait. I need to buy items too, and I have no idea where to buy items. Things are getting a little, I'm getting lost. And all I wanna do is save and play cards. That's it, y'all. Hello? Who are you? Wait, come back. Okay, or don't. Riki? Oh, they did come back, hi. I tell you, patrolling on foot is tiring. I'm sorry. Are these cats or dogs? I can't really tell, but I want one. There is no FF game older than me, so I could play them all when they came out and largely did. That's pretty lucky though, Golbez. I think that's pretty lucky. At least. I wonder how I would have felt playing these games like at a younger age. In Esthar, we all dress like this. Graceful, isn't it? The hem of our attire does not become dirty because the city is kept very clean. Okay. I mean, that's smart. But still. Da, da, da. I have no idea where I'm going. I, um... I might be a little bit lost, but it's okay. Please don't hit me. You're a foreigner, aren't you? How did you get here? We flew here in a spaceship. Spaceship? I thought we only had the technology to make them. May I see it? Yes, I knew you were lying. Shame on you. That's not very nice. We're at the center of the capital. You get the best view of the palace from here. It's coming again, huh? It's inevitable. What's inevitable? Last time it came down near Trabia, the lunar cry. 
What's the lunar cry? Please don't tell me. This, me asking this is very rhetorical. Yeah, right? Like, maybe we don't want to show her our spaceship. Why is she being so mean to me? What's her problem? Okay, Zell, take it. Like, dude, was she, was she planning on showing me her spaceship? Like, goddamn. Also, why would I just have it, like, in my pocket to just, like, show off? Like, here, yeah, like, I can show you my spaceship. Here you go. Like, it's not pocket-sized. I probably need to store that somewhere. That store is wonderful. Oh, yes, I know. I received a great discount. Oh, really? So did I. What, what store? Where is it? Can you tell me where the store is? <laughs> where does this go? To Presidential Palace, to City Entrance. Okay, let's go this way. Maybe? I have no idea where I'm going. I would like you all to know that I don't know where I'm going at all. And I'm very afraid, truthfully. <laughs> I just, all I wanted to do was play cards. But you're always lost. That's a mood, Jackie. Honestly, I am also always lost. Wait, if I sit here, where does it go? To shopping mall. Wait, I want to go to the shopping mall. Maybe she assumes I got some pim particles. What the? F this ain't some Marvel shit. I do love Marvel though, in a way. I just love Wanda. I love Scarlet Witch with all my soul. Hi, Hades. How are you? Thank you for the popcorn. Okay. I don't know how we got here, but I'm. Well, I do. I kind of know how we got here, but not really. So we're just gonna. We're gonna shop, all right? Cause I. Okay? What the f- There's a pet shop? Clouds in this game. Huh. Okay. Hmm. Mm -mm. Karen got so fed up with everywhere else and yelling at everyone that she opened her own bookstore. That's crazy. Cheryl's store? Wait, Sean's mom has a store. I'm gonna go. The shop is closed today. Love you, that for you, Karen. I wonder if anyone goes. Let's go to Cloud's shop. We're having a sale. Perfect. I better get everything half off. Look at how many items I have. Look at all my money, goddamn. All right, we're gonna stock up on this. I haven't bought items in a while. In case anyone was curious, I have not really bought items. Maybe I should have, but I, I didn't really think I needed any. For like a long part of this game, I was just kind of like, I don't need anything. It's fine. Wait, I need one more. Gotta make that even. Exactly, Jackie. I don't need it, but I actually kind of do. <laughs> Fuel for a rental car? I don't have a rental car right now. I'm not even gonna think about it. Emma. Okay. Oh, I don't have any of these, but I do have this. Not that many. God, gosh dang, okay. I have to get four of these just so it's even. Okay, we did that, we're good. Wait, Johnny has an item shop too? The shop is closed today, okay? Why is it closed? What's at the pet store? We're having a sale. What do they have? Amnesia greens, what's that? Oh, this is for my GFs. Wait. Hold on, that's cute. I can teach them scrolls? Wait, this is cool. That's pretty poggers. Wait, that's so neat. I didn't even know this was possible. What the heck? I feel like this could come in handy, but I don't know. We'll see. Um, 
What's in the junk shop? How is everywhere having a sale? This can't be possible. Oh. Oh, I have enough to make this. Is it worth upgrading all of their like weapons and such? I've never really done anything. You would make the pet house for your GFs bigger and better than your own house. Honestly, I think that's valid. You never upgraded anyone but Squall. I'm kind of curious. I don't know who else I would really use besides, I mean, I know I'm gonna use Zell. So the only person that I could think of is this. He was the only one who punched? That's fair. It's just so inexpensive. Hi, Samurai. Congrats on the PS5. Yeah, most of the time, I think all my other characters are using like GFs and magic. But sometimes I attack with Zell, so maybe this would be worth it. What games are you gonna play on your PS5 now that you have one, Samurai? Um, yeah, I might do this, but it doesn't really increase by much, I guess, but still. Yeah, I don't know, it's not really a big difference. This kind of is. But, I don't know. I don't know what I'm gonna use this. Strength only moving three stats was meh compared to junctions. That makes sense too. Maybe I'll just leave it. I don't know. Can I leave? Can I leave the store directory? Let me leave. Oh, there we go. That scared me. Hi, Dairy Farmer! Started playing Integrate and goes to Tsushima. I hope that you have a good time with both of those. I have not played Integrate. I only watched people play it. Um, but that was just me being like a loser butt. <laughs> Pre-ordered Crisis Core. Let's go! That's what I love to hear. Let's fucking go. Who else pre-ordered Crisis Core? Who else is ready for Zack Fair? I'm ready for Zack Fair. I am... S yeah. That's what I'm talking about. Uh, get that. That's the most important. A big house for Shiva and then a little dog house next to it for me! <laughs> That's adorable, Derry. That's so cute. You did not pre-order because there was no bonus. I'm sorry, Sarge. The bonus is that you get... Um, Zach Fair twerking. Maybe. No, I'm just kidding. That's not the real bonus, but. Hi, Kibold Frost. Welcome in. How are you today? Also, thank you to whoever followed. I have anonymous follows turned on because I don't like calling people out of lurk. Um, but if you do want to say hello and introduce yourself, I can thank you um, that way. Or if you'd rather stay lurking, it's totally okay. But yeah, how are you doing, Kibold? Welcome in. You haven't pre ordered yet because you're paranoid it'll ship late. I. <laughs> I'm terrible, and I pre-ordered it at Best Buy because they said that they're going to ship it out earlier. Like, a day earlier to make sure that it arrives, so I pre-ordered it there. Hi, Leon, by the way. How are you? Actually, one reason to upgrade his new skin. Does even... Wait. Do they all get it? Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. Tornado. Okay. Do they all get new skins? That's kind of cool. I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. Uh, it's been a rough day today, but otherwise, I'm doing pretty good. I'm glad to hear that you are great. Have you played Final Fantasy VIII before? At first, you had a lot of trouble with the controller, but you're getting used to it. That's good. Oh, Meta, it's okay. I appreciate that you went out of your way to, like, learn more about it and educate yourself. And that's really what matters the most. Like, is, like, learning that it was not an okay thing to say and like improving yourself and not saying it in the future so do not worry meta i understand i appreciate the apology and i appreciate you going through and reading about it um but yeah no worries you're fine i'm very proud of you for you know go making that effort and educating yourself at the same time it could be out of sto stock i think it, um, here's the thing i think you'll be lucky with this one and hopefully it won't go out of stock because it's on um <laughs> it's on so many things that i feel like so many people are getting it for different platforms maybe maybe it won't sell out like it will be okay but i don't know i i needed to secure my ps5 version because i was just like i am so scared you play ffa for the story bold of you to assume i play for the story deja vu i'm playing for triple triad 
bold of you to assume. But wouldn't Squall and Rina, like, Renoa moments, um, count towards story? Wait. Wait. Just doing three more minutes of lurking. No worries, Leon! I hope you have a good sleep. Thank you for lurking. Your first FF was eight. How did you feel with it being, like, your first Final Fantasy and then going to other Final Fantasy games? I'm always, like, so curious about that. Because my first was 15, so obviously, like, going into other Final Fantasy games was completely, like, different. It was a totally different experience for me. Hi, GB! How are you, Koopo? Um, but... I, I want to know what it's like starting with this game for people whose, like, first game was 8. Because it's so different. Not the whole story, but it's part of it, you know? It's part of it, love. And it. I should not <laughs> do that accent. Why must I do this? Your first RPG with 7 was a trip. Do I want to go shopping? Yes. This is the same stores! I'm definitely not British. Goodbye, have a nice journey. That's so sweet of them to say, thank you. Maybe I just wish I was British. Um, a lot of people used to redeem the channel point thing that I had for speaking an accent, and that's like one of the only accents I can do. I'm not very talented at it. Thanks, Ripdoc, I appreciate it. Maybe I was secretly British this whole time. Will I ever find my way out of here? We'll never know. Wait. Did all I have to do is step forward? Do I have a teddy bear? I do not have a teddy bear, but I have a giant slime. Does that count? Get slimed on. What an incredible city. Squall, where are you going? Wait, you just ran ahead. Very much same here. I'm glad I'm not alone. Sorry, you know, a bunch of different characters named Bridget. That's okay, Entropic! Maybe I'm British. I'm British Bridget. All right, let's see. Hello, would you like- Holy goddamn. Um, okay. Sure, why not? Let's get in this car. Is this a fighting game? Guilty Gear Strive is, yes. This is just a JRPG, holy. I swear, could you imagine paying like $3,500 to just rent a car? That was pretty sick, I gotta say. This is why I'm like curious about playing this game on like the PS1 when I was just a wee little lad or a lass. Why did I say lad? I was not a lad. I was a wee little lad. <laughs> you want to be British? Oh, wait. Um, I was a little lass. How the fuck do you drive on this shit? I feel like if I steer- This looks like- Have you ever seen those rugs in, like, dentist's office that were just, like, streets? Like, have you ever seen- those stupid carpets that were just like little cities. This is what this looks like. It's like I'm driving on a little city. I'm talking about myself, Baron. How, this is terrifying. What if I drive off the edge? Can I? Wait. Oh, you can't. They've got like little bumpers. It's like when you go bowling and you can't bowl. So you have the little like safety bumps. Hi bees. How are you? Welcome back, Argent. I'm talking about myself. Where the frick do I go? Jackie, how did you get through here? How does anyone get through here? Wait, holy, wait. I go this way, I think, maybe? I don't know. <laughs> You're very sleepy, get some rest. Wait, what time is it for you? I think I go this way. You're simply a god gamer. Oh my God, will you teach me your ways? What's this? Maybe this is where I go. Oh shit. 7.24 p.m. You going to go to bed soon. You've had a long day. Make sure you relax. Get the good sleeps. I know it's not super late, but still. Days can be long and rough. You deserve the rest. It's good to see you, though. Your emotes are always so cute. I've seen them in Megan's stream a lot. 
They're very, very cute. Things start to scale. Think of it as a metaphor, I guess. I guess that's true in Tropic. Okay, JB, what do you mean by you want to be British? Oh my god, wait, this is where Laguna was. Wait. Be my friend. No, be my friend. Where you go? Oh, I thought it left. Okay. Why wouldn't it be my friend? Why can't we be friends? Like, why won't you just be my friend? Okay, but now we can save. And maybe we can challenge this lady to cards. We're finally gonna play cards. That map is huge, but it's fine. We'll find our way. That's possible, bees. I'm like, anytime that Megan streams, I'm usually there. Usually. I try to be there. What's here? Death. Oh, nobody can draw that because I have it all. <laughs> Damn it. Okay. All right. Do you guys want to see how many cards I have? I don't think Slamma is here anymore, but I want to compare my card list to Slamma's card list because Slamma had one page of cards for a long time, and I just feel like I need I need to I need to show everybody. She said to follow you, she'd break my into my home and rearrange my pots and pans in a confusing way. That does sound like Megan. It's like the least threatening threat in the world, but I love Megan. I adore Megan with all my heart. You're being ironic as you are British. Oh, that makes sense. You know, I just, I didn't want to assume. I didn't want to assume anything. But look at, look at all my cards. <laughs> look at all these cards. Look at all those chickens. We are all Megan fans. Maybe I should just do a little Megan shout out. Do I have mini mog? As a matter of fact, I do. Just where is it? Hold on. Sorry, I have so many cards. It's so hard to find. <laughs> what are the cards for? They're for beating people in card games and for making magic. You can like card mod cards into magic. Thanks, Dad, for the clip. You can't remember how I found. Could be Ali, could be Chad, could be Megan. Honestly, I like our community though. I like that I found like so many like friends and like cool people through having like mutual community members with like Ali, with Chad, with Megan, with Jin, with a ton of people. Like it's just nice. It's nice to be able to meet people in that way. It always feels really cool. Like, I know I'm, I've still, like, recently gotten to know Jackie, but I've also met some cool people in Jackie's stream who are very funny. Like, uh, Jem, whose grandma's ears I stole, you know? It's like that sometimes. You meet cool people. <laughs> and it just happens. You know? I feel like this will be a thing for at least in 14, getting all the cards, too, since almost all the bosses drop one. Oh, shit. Hi, Zeri, by the way! Time for me to play... Time for me to play 14 again. You fell through a Jin Ray raid back in March and didn't come back until a month ago. That's okay. It's fine. Do I know Eyes on B? I do know Eyes on B. I also love B. B is funny. I just think B is hilarious. B helped me in my Parasite Eve playthrough when I was getting so stressed. And that's like one of my core memories for life was getting help from both Plume and B on like upgrading my weapons because I was so terrified that I was going to fuck it up and do it wrong. All right, got some chores to do before bed. No worries, Arjun. Good luck with your chores. A few people know me from Nicole as well. Nicole, my wife. But honestly, Jackie, I'm just glad you came back because I think you are very funny and I feel like we have a lot of the same opinions and a lot of the same attitudes about stuff and that's really cool. And it's nice to find people that are like-minded but not obviously like your clone. Like, you know, cause like, obviously if I clone myself, that would be somebody who's like minded, but like, I don't wanna, I don't wanna be friends with my clone. So it's kinda, it's kinda cool to find somebody who's like minded, who's not just your clone. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> that was a really weird ramble, but you, you get me, I think, I think. Hi Darth, how are you? It's thanks to FF8, so true. Final Fantasy VIII kinda rules. Can we get a shard out for Darth? Not a shout out, obviously. It has to be a shard out. I think you said you wouldn't be friends. I would not be friends with my clone. I think that's too much me. That's too much me. That big hunk of rock that was here, I miss it now that it's gone. It's so barren here now. Can I play? 
Why won't you play cards with me? Hello? You would kill my... Sometimes you have to prove which one is stronger, the real you or the clone you. Hi, Sunfell! This is what I mean, though, when you try to play Triple Triad and people won't play with you. Like, what is the reason? Will you play cards with me? Come here! Okay, apparently not. Rude. How are you doing, son? Hello, can I go through this door? Hello? Can I not go through this door? Okay, what, is, what was the point? Oh, hi. Will you let me through the door? It's still standing there, but they don't do anything in there now. When the research subject moves elsewhere, I guess they move with it. Okay. Your clone would kill me. I don't believe that, Derry. I think you could take on your clone. I think you could do it. Cloning only ever ends two ways. They try to replace you or they get too close. Wait, what does getting too close entail? <laughs> I'm glad that you're good. Thank you for the cutie Aerith, by the way. I appreciate that. I don't know, where's my car? Oh, there it is. <laughs> oh, yay, Daft, congrats. Now you can be a GameCube gamer. What game are you gonna play first? Please say Path of Radiance or Wind Waker. Hi, Patos, how are you? Like fusing back into one like pickle, what? Why do I not remember this? Hello? Oh, no. Who's fighting me? That's okay, Daft. As long as it works, that's all that matters. I don't want to fight these. I want to run. You fell sick? I hope you feel better soon. I'm sorry to hear. Can I leave now? Don't slice me. <laughs> my god. Why are they attacking Zell? Leave my son alone. Please. Hold on. <laughs> Wait, straight up zoomed in on that monster's ass. I just really wanted to make sure you were looking at the dumpy. That's all, the monster dumpy and Eternal Darkness. I've never played Eternal Darkness, but so many people have said to play it. You need to recover soon. Don't rush yourself, Patas. I'm sure if you let people know who commissioned you that you need more time because you're sick, they'll be understanding. And if they're not understanding, I will fight them on your behalf because stuff happens, life happens. And it's okay if you need more time to complete stuff. I have never, like, I never heard of Internal Darkness until I got on Twitch and now everyone's like, it's a gem, it's a classic, it's the best, it's the best like horror game on GameCube ever. And I'm like, I wanna play it. I wanna play it so bad. Like, I wanna try it. Am I a baby with horror games? Yes, but I still want to try it. This, there is an adventure game coming out soon. It's about playing a character as like a dozen clones. That's scary. <laughs> you got a bunch of classic games, original Wind Waker, collector's edition. Oh, nice, Daft. Okay, go hard. I just, I, I feel like a lot of people just need to be more understanding with like commissions and artwork and stuff. They understood, but you don't want to keep them waiting. Pat, just take care of yourself. Listen here, bud. If you're sick and you cannot complete your commissions at the time that you wanted to because you're sick, you just relax, give yourself the rest that you need. Don't push yourself. I know that you don't want to keep them waiting, but as long as they're understanding, you gotta let yourself recover, okay? Oh, but that's nice, B. Hi, Kalandra, how are you? Stream is going good. Thank you very much. Hmm? I'm super lost and I'm going into only off limits places. <laughs> Hi, Mr. McNoface. Nostalgia, but you're too far ahead for me. Oh, I'm sorry. I am a disc three gamer. But yeah, Kalandra, how are you? I'm just chilling today. Stream is going pretty good. This is my first time playing, yes. So far, I really like it. This is probably my second favorite Final Fantasy game. But now I want to play Eternal Darkness. I don't know when I do that. It's been 20 years since you last saved a game in Wind Waker. God damn, that's a long time. Apophid is just a fun game. Gonna focus on work? No worries, Dairy. Good luck with work. I don't know where to go. Hello. I know that they said to go east of the city entrance, which I did. But like, how far east? We went in here already, right? This looks kind of different, though. Is this where we went? 
This looks like a ramp. Can I do a kickflip? Is whoever poops their pants first? This sounds like a good race. No, I went there. Wait, have I not been over here? What's over here? Fuel remaining. Oh, fuck. Oh, fuck. What happens when you run out of fuel? Oh, no. Oh, no. What? What the frick is that place? Oh, there's the ramp. I don't want to run out of fuel! This is Bridget. This is Bridget from Guilty Gear Strive, Patus. Eternal Darkness, so good. I've never played it, no face. Um, but my top yeah. Final Fantasy right now is Final Fantasy IX. I'm a big Final Fantasy IX fan. Um, I don't know if this one will surpass it or not. I don't think so, but we'll see. But yeah, this is my Bridget from Guilty Gear cosplay. It's The hood is hard to put on without a mirror. <laughs> but this is so that you can see the hood at least. It's... Oh, thank you, bees. Thank you. It's a bit hot, this cosplay, but it's not bad. I still like it a lot. Elise wants to do a kickflip. How about a heel flip? No, a kickflip off the ramp. Guessing much the same if you ran out. No, I don't want the car to stop working. I want to keep, I want to keep doing it. Oh, thank you, Zeri. It will get better. It'll just take time. The person who made them, Arudessa on Twitch, is a super sweetheart. And honestly, bees, that's all that matters. Like, there's, I commission a few artists for my emotes because, I don't know, I just love commissioning artists. And I just love working with artists. Um, but, um, one of the artists that I commissioned, Ty Moon, uh, she doesn't have her commissions open very often. And so I'll just message her and I'll be like, hey, like, I have a few ideas. Do you mind, like, putting me on, like, your wait list? Or if you're too busy, like, just let me know. And she'll always be super nice. But, like, if I'm on her wait list, sometimes I'm waiting, like, four to five months. Maybe even more. Like, sometimes it's been, like, six months um, until, like, I'm able to actually, like, commission her. But I don't mind waiting. Like, I feel like I would wait as long as I need to. If I have a person in mind who I think, like, can, like, do my idea and I want them to do it, I'll wait as long as I have to. So most people are very understanding about it. And the people who aren't... Smack them. What happens if mini snacks? I would love to be hugged by mini snacks. That artist is that good. To me, they are, yeah. I love Ty Moon's work. And I also love Tina's work. And I love Maury's work. I love every emote artist that I've worked with, to be honest. I think they're all really great. Um, but yeah, I would say so. I would say so. Both are good, but eight is more epic to me. So is nine. What about seven or ten or six? Uh, so seven I like a lot. But I, I personally prefer Crisis Core over the original Final Fantasy seven. Um, I just think OG Final Fantasy 7 is good. But I think some of its, like, add-ons have done some really nice things. Like, I like Crisis Core more. I got more emotionally invested into Crisis Core than OG 7. Um, and I think playing Crisis Core first before original Final Fantasy 7 made me feel a lot of things in Final Fantasy 7 more, if that makes sense. 10 I loved. 10 made me cry like a baby. And 6 I liked... But I don't think it was, like, my favorite Final Fantasy or even in, like, my top three. Um, I thought it was all right. I thought it was good. I loved my experience with it. I think some of the characters are really great. I like Locke a lot. I like Cyan's story a lot. I like Celeste a lot. Um, Kefka's there. Uh, <laughs> he's there. He's a little bit of a clown, but he's there. Uh, I don't know. Like, that's... <laughs> That's how I, 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 I thought it was all right. It's not, it's not my favorite, but it's not like I don't like it. That's, just, that's the best way I can sum up that game. It's just kept there. Yeah. Hi, Sky. How are you? The add-ons people were thinking about it more because of them was that big. They couldn't hurt the brand. Just try, try and make it better. Yeah, I think so. Um, I like some of the things that Remake does too, like with how it's built upon and like developed certain characters more, like Jesse. Um, and not Jesse. Um, but I, I just feel like OGF of 7 was good and a great foundation for some of the games that were like inspired by it and lengthened it more, you know? It's not Jesse. He doesn't have a name anymore to me. I look like a boss. Thank you, Sky. How was your evening or your day? You like them all, really? And that's fine, Kalandra. I don't think that I've ever played a Final Fantasy that I disliked. Like, I've liked every Final Fantasy that I've played. I think there's just certain ones that I'm emotionally invested in or attached to more than others. 
It's kind of like with like uh, the Nier games. I personally found that I was more emotionally like attached to Nier Replicant, even though I liked and like adored playing through Nier Tomato. Um, I think I was definitely like more emotionally attached to Nier Replicant. Did I tell you that one of your mother's most favorite animes is Card Captor Soccer? Have you told your mother that she has excellent taste? Cause you should, you should text her or call her right now. And you should say, hey, Elise says that you have great taste. Hi Mars, how are you? Why Nine? Was it because of Vivi? I do love Vivi a lot. Um, I actually really like Nine because of Garnet, Zidane, Vivi, and Freya, and a lot of other characters. But I like the character Activity development in mode. Nine so much. <laughs> so much. Tenza, thank you for the sub for 19 months. Uh, thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. I hope you're enjoying the emotes. Thank you. You wish your parents were into gaming. My parents aren't into anime, but they are into gaming somewhat. My mom is not into gaming as much as my dad. Thank you for the combat mode. But the ones you dislike, you really don't like. Oh, I'm sorry, Byron. Is that Zach from Kingdom Hearts? Zach? <laughs> oh my God. Wait, do you mean the Zach behind me? That one? This is his uh, Crisis Core Dijoin, right there. Right there. I've not yet played Kingdom Hearts. Um, Kingdom Hearts is on my list. I've played one Kingdom Hearts game and it's Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep. Tenza, how are you? How's your night? No, the clip when something falls. No, that's not from Kingdom Hearts. That's from Crisis Core. That's from Crisis Core. The subs all my like subscribers alerts, I think, or subs subscriber alerts, subscription alerts are from Crisis Core. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure most of them are. <laughs> I just really love Zach Fair. He's my fave in the entire world. FF7 is a masterpiece. There's an absurd amount of thought into it, I find. I feel like that could be said about so many Final Fantasies, though. Like, Final Fantasy IX definitely has a lot of thought into it as well. But so does Final Fantasy VIII. Like, when you look at Final Fantasy VIII, this story is so different than any of the Final Fantasies I've played. It's kind of wild. Like, ugh, man. I've played only Birth by Sleep. So I have to play Kingdom Hearts 1. Why are we walking so slow? Can we walk faster? Thank you for the lurk, Tenza. Whoa! Angelo! Hi! This is actually Kyan, though, I think. We named it Kyan. <laughs> it's a doggy. It's gonna be okay. I'll take care of Renoa. You had to convince your dad to play the original Sonic. Oh, God. My dad played, like, I grew up watching my dad play Ocarina of Time, and then I ended up playing it myself. Um, so my dad was always a gamer. He's played some of Bayonetta, and he's played Dark Souls 1. <laughs> he still plays games. Like, his favorite game to play right now is Red Dead Redemption 2. That's what he plays. He plays the Yeehaw game. Nowadays, you can play KH on every platform. I have the like PS4 all in one collection. The Kingdom Hearts play all the games and watch some movies collection. But yeah, it's great, but I don't see any new discoveries about other FF games except seven. I don't know. I don't know. That was the end of gaming until I got a Wii and got him to fishing on the Wii. Nice. <laughs> Thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Oh my God, you can't watch, you're planning to replay this game. No worries, thank you for hanging out. I totally understand. I hope you have a great rest of your night. Um, and thank you to whoever followed. I do have anonymous follows on because I don't like calling people out of lurk. Um, but if you do want to say hello, please feel free if you want to stay lurking, that's totally okay. Speaking of, have I ever heard of the Final Fantasy movie? Yes, I think I have. I've never watched it, but my older sister did and she was like obsessed with it. Lead the way, please. Okay, here we go. All I want to do is play Triple Triad. Thank you, Ghoul, for the best looking squall. I like that it's called whatever. He's just, he's just so beautiful. Look at all those pixels. Final Fantasy Spirits Within. Yeah, I think my older sister watched it, but I've never seen it. I'm gonna look it up really quick. Final Fantasy Spirits Within. It has nothing to do with FF. Yeah, she watched this movie though. I remember her talking about this shit because she was like, it's, it's like, it's like Final Fantasy. And she like, 
played some of it and I looked at it and I was like, this isn't Final Fantasy. Keep in mind, I have never played a Final Fantasy game in my life, but did you ever have that era of when you were a kid where you would go on like YouTube and you would like look at um, AMVs? You would like watch AMVs? I watched... <laughs> Gooder, thank you for the twerculator. I'm a shake what my mama gave me. I'm a shake my money maker. Thank you. Thank you for the dancies. I appreciate it. That's what this is. Yes, it is. Thank you, Gooder. How are you? <laughs> Welcome in. Thanks for using Zack Attack. Spirits felt at times more like a Halo movie. I have never seen it. But I will say, like, I, I mean, I still love certain AMVs. I can show some, like, one of the ones that I really like. But, um, dude, there were like, so many. Like a maca. Show us, please. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Sure, I can. But let me tell you, like, I watched so many AMVs growing up of Final Fantasy X. I had no idea what happened in that game. All I knew was that Yuna's cutscenes were the most beautiful thing I've ever seen in my entire life. Jack, Jack, Zach uses Ultima Booty. True, it's true. I think this is gonna get like muted in my stream, this one, but I'm gonna try to find it. AMV. <laughs> is it this one? Oh, somebody just like took like made it like the best AMVs of all time. Like, does the person who originally posted even have it anymore? Oh my God, this has been reposted so many times. I don't even know who's the original ones. Thank you for the good. You saw a handful of FF8 MV MVs and cutscenes. I've never seen any Final Fantasy VIII stuff. So I'm actually pretty happy to be playing this for the first time. Um, but I'll show this one. I'll show this one because this one this one is probably one of my favorite AMVs ever. It's totally going to get muted in the VOD for the record. This one's an anime one. It is not Final Fantasy. But I used to watch so many. I don't know if any of the ones that I used to watch from when I was younger are still there. Gooder, thank you for the sub with Prime! Hold on. Thank you for the sub, Gooder! I appreciate it. Thank you, thank you. We've just got the mix of songs. I thought this one was really well edited. Honestly, Jackie, you're valid. I think this one was super popular. Like, I feel like it was like a very popular AMV because of how well it was edited. I do love Panty and Stalking though. I love this anime so much. This is Panty and Stalking with Garter Belt. That's what show this is. And it's finally getting a season two. This is why I don't go out dancing, by the way. I'm just an embarrassment. And right here, yeah. All the way in Battery City. The little children raise their open, filthy palms. I personally did not like the dub very much, but it's okay. I know, like, a lot of people like it. Just did not vibe with me. Yeah. 
<laughs> I'm glad that I'm not alone, bees. Hi, Vegeta. Mars, it's so well done. It's kind of scary. They do such a good job of editing this. I wish I could watch the official persons. Because this is just like reposted. We do be jamming. Oh, Sars, that's awesome. I don't know which cosplay photo, but that's pretty cool. I wonder, hold on. What I used to do as a kid is I used to just put in a song. And then, like... <laughs> yes. Yeah, this is what I'm talking about. Please DM it. Please do. Thank you. I do dance to try to make Squall proud. Can we just vibe out to like one more AMV before we continue? Before we continue this beautiful Final Fantasy VIII. <laughs> Jackie, I have no idea what happens. It just looks so good. A Final Fantasy X dude. Okay, let's see this. Wait, which one's... This one has 6.8 million views. Stop. <laughs> I can't wait to get DMCA'd up the butt by Twitch. First one to cry loses, okay? That's the game that we're playing. I still hear your voice when you sleep next to me. I still oh, that's cute. In my this is gonna be a rigged game for sure. Forgive me. No! But I don't know why Without you it's hard to survive Cause every time we touch I get this I can't take it seriously with the song though It's running it I should have picked a different one I can't take it seriously with the song Need you by my side Every time we touch, I feel the static and every I got so emotional at the start and now I'm just laughing. I can't you feel my heart beat so I can't let you go. They're wholesome though. Oh yeah, Plume, I probably should have said that. But SARS is SARS ran. SARS ran, we're good. We're taking a moment in Tropic to watch AMVs, okay? You make me rise when I fall. Every time we touch, I get this feeling. And every time I think this is spoiling 10 2 as well. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know the plot of 10 2. I want this to last. Need you by my side. Because every time. I I'm going to I'm going to stop watching this one because now who knows maybe I actually care. Maybe I actually care about playing 102. But I'm going to say this, I want to say this real quick because I hear this a lot bees about how the game is like 20 years old. I want I want to I want to put into perspective that I do not believe in the idea that if something is old that all of a sudden it is okay to spoil things. Because to me, you never know people's circumstances and why they may not have been able to play something. We live in a time period now where a lot of people did not grow up with those games. Not all of those games are like easily accessible. So even though a game came out 20 years ago, 
there are a lot of people who like maybe financial situations didn't allow for them to buy the console to play that game or even the game itself so it's like i i never think that just because something has been out for a long time that it's okay to spoil something also good night entropic have a good sleep it is and it isn't i don't think i used to watch these not knowing anything that happened so i i probably did spoil those games for myself growing up and i just, just don't remember it we gotta watch the game slash anime music videos with lincoln park reminiscence well now i won't because i'm afraid that it's gonna spoil stuff but i will say this like I played Final Fantasy 15 as my first Final Fantasy, which was like, what, 2015 when that game came out? Um, and I had never played any Final Fantasy before. And let me tell you, when I went back and I played Crisis Core and I played Final Fantasy 7 and I told people like how the story like affected me and like how emotional I was with stuff, they were like, oh my God, like you avoided spoilers. Like you didn't know what happened. And I'm like, no, but I feel like, like, I, I did, no, yes, yes, I did avoid spoilers. But here's the thing. I would never want to take that away from somebody else. Like, I realize that Final Fantasy VII came out in 1997, but I feel like I would never want to take that experience away from someone else who might be in the same position as me, where, like, they haven't played it before, and it came out so long ago, and somebody just tells them, oh, well, this happens. It's like, let that person experience it. Because I feel like it would not have had the same effect on me if somebody had spoiled it for me. Also, thank you, Jackie. I try my best. But yeah, maybe one day I will play Ten too. Um, But that's just how I feel. I know some people don't care about spoilers as much. But I know for me, if I had known certain things going into it, it definitely would have affected, like, how the story like impacts me. Like, how the storytelling impacts me. So I'm very grateful that I didn't get spoiled on stuff. Um, and I would never want to ruin that experience for somebody else because I treasure that experience, you know? Please tell me I looked at the photo. Hold on, let me look right now. I got kind of trapped into the... Wait, I have seen this before. I love this. Scanty and knee socks are beautiful. Thank you. Thank you. The signs make it so much better. Oh, that's perfect. Hi, Duo. Thank you for the sub with Prime. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. I hope that you enjoy my email for 22 months. Thank you, Duo. That's crazy. Thank you so much. I appreciate you. How are you? I know you had like a rough day or I don't know if it was a rough day today or like earlier this week because I don't remember when I read the post, but I hope that you're having a better day now. I hope that you're doing well. Hi, HD. How are you? Time, no matter how long that adventure has been around. Exactly. You started with FF6 and that's awesome. Given how frequently FF7 characters guest star, I think most people know Cloud but don't actually know Cloud at all. Maybe. I think now people know Cloud pretty well. Maybe. Who knows? Maybe some people don't. But that's the thing. Like, I remember, um, some people may know this streamer. I know them, but they, it is Kanta Per Me. Kanta Per Me streams a lot of Monster Hunter. Oh, wait, Jeremiah, thank you for the raid. Hi, Jeremiah. Thank you for raiding me. Hello. Hello, hello. Hi, Jeremiah. Hi, Plida. I don't know if I'm saying that right, but I'm trying. I'm trying. Everybody from Jeremiah's stream, hi, my name is Elise. I am a variety streamer. Um, I play mostly JRPGs currently, but I do also play um, some action games or cozy visual novels. I usually just play anything that's not FPS. You won't see first person shooters here because I'm bad at them and I can't aim. Um, but welcome in. I do a lot of cosplay streams. Today I'm cosplaying Bridget. You can't really tell because the hoodie's not on, but here you go. I'm cosplaying Bridget today from Guilty Gear Strive. Um, and I'm a very chatty streamer. I just like talking to my with my community a lot. Uh, I get off topic and I don't make a lot of progress in games because I'm busy talking with my community. <laughs> but we don't care. We love talking here. So if you like talking and you like cosplay streams and you like being a little chaotic, welcome in. Um, yes, we are playing Final Fantasy VIII. We are doing seed things. It's nice to meet you all. Thank you for the follows. I appreciate that. It's actually, wait, Platy? Oh, I would never have guessed that, but hi. I'm sorry that somebody took your username. We stand Bridget. We do. One day I will learn to play Guilty Gear. It's kind of intimidating though. I do love Bridget a lot. But yeah, how are you all doing? Welcome in. How was your stream, Jeremiah? 
Um, I was talking about Kanta though, and I remember one time Kanta was playing Kingdom Hearts 2, and I was lurking because I'd never played. <laughs> Thank you for the Zack attack. I'm gonna shake what my mama gave me. I'm gonna shake my money maker. Uh. Yeah. Thank you for the twerkulators. Um, but Kanto was playing Kingdom Hearts 2 for the first time, and people kept going in there and just, like, spoiling stuff. And Kanto's mods were on top of it, but a lot of people would say things like, Well, this game came out, like, so long ago. And it's like, just let people enjoy things. And that's it. You just gotta be nice about it, you know? You gotta, gotta let people experience the game no matter how old it is. You know? Especially when they keep putting it on new platforms so that people who may not have played with it back on, like, what, PS2? PS2? I think, I think it's a PS2 game. I don't know. Um, I've never played Kingdom Hearts 2, but anyway. You guys get my point. I just think that no matter how old something is, it should always be protected by not spoiling people. Oh, you hope I play 10 too? Sorry, bees. I kind of went into a whole tangent from what we were talking about, but... It's something that I, I, I care a lot about because I didn't grow up with a lot of JRPGs myself. I think I will go back one day and play 10-2. I don't think I'd play it on um, stream. I think I'd probably play it off stream. There's some Final Fantasy games I want to play off stream. If people spoil Crisis Core, if people, uh, Jackie, I swear to God, I know that you watch the cutscenes, but if people spoil stuff for you, I'm not even a mod in your channel, but I will find a way to strike them down with the sword. I will find a way. I will find a way. If people spoil things for you, I'm going to cut. I'm just, I'm going to, they will say it. They will, the minute they think about typing it, that they put it on their little keyboard, I'm going to show up in like a threatening doorway. Like I'm just going to be like a little threatening shadow. I will do it. I will destroy anybody. Okay. <laughs> like I'm just, I'm coming. I'm coming. I don't care. I don't want anybody to spoil that game for anyone. Old, don't spoil me. I won't spoil you, Daft. I got you. Happy to keep the FFA train running. No worries, Jeremiah. Have a good night. Thank you again for the raid. I appreciate it so much. At least threatening violence. I just don't like it when people spoil games that I love. I want to see people's reactions to things, okay? God. At least don't spoil Crisis Core. Hardly anyone play. No, don't don't spoil it ever because it's a beautiful story. I don't want people to experience it themselves. And I will. Hi, Nanaki. How are you? The way that I just changed. Hi, Nanaki. How are you? Welcome in. I'm ready to fight. I don't want anyone to get spoiled on that game ever. It's so good. I'm so ready. You know what? Even better. What I would do is I will find a way to have like a Zack Fair cosplay and I will shank down. I will strike down all people who spoil it in Zack Fair cosplay. So it won't even be me. It'll be like the shadow of Zack Fair just striking down all the evil spoily people. <laughs> that'll be that'll be what I do. You're going to say something not a spoiler, but it would make you mad. Then don't say it. Why would you want to make me mad? Gopez, why would you do that to yourself? But then they get to see you as act true. You know what? There's a lot of points being made. <laughs> the Dream Master is making me. You want me to cosplay Hojo? <laughs> Could you imagine how much is a Hojo cosplay? Actually, wait. Hojo cosplay. How much is a Hojo cosplay? FF7. I would have to not shower. I just, I will make the wig look so greasy. They have a cosplay for Hojo? Somebody has a cosplay for Hojo. It's just like a lab coat with like a shirt and pants. All you would have to do is get like a lab coat. What if I did like sexy Hojo? Like, you know, like, like, like gender bent, like sexy Hojo where it's just like a lab coat with like a corset and like pants underneath <laughs> i can get like a little pickle jar of ju like pickle juice and like take all the pickles out and just put jar of grease Ugh, this would be a really nice cosplay i think <laughs> i think this would be fun i think this would be a good thank you for the idea everybody i like this idea i'm not i'm not gonna mm, maybe it'll be a troll maybe it won't I'll, you'll never know You'll just have to wait. And maybe one day you tune into a stream and you see Hojo. And that's just all there is. You just, you will never know. 
You don't think you can handle sexy much. You never know until you see it. Distance-wise, it's pretty far, but you'll be there in no time. You'll be there by the time you wake up. <laughs> I don't know if I'm prepared to do this kind of cosplay and to have this responsibility. I need one of those rubber masks to have his face. I'll have to like test how to do makeup, you know? Like I'm gonna have to like do like different makeup stuff and figure it out. Maybe I could do it, I don't know. That would be really difficult, but <laughs> I think it would be fun. That would have been such a good Halloween costume, damn it. It's too late for Halloween though. Hmm. That would have been so funny. I need somebody to like dress up as Norg, for real. Let me give you a quick explanation about the whole process. Oh, not now. First, we need you to enter the capsule inside this pipe. Here, you'll undergo the cold sleep process. Yeah. Once this process is complete, your capsule will automatically be loaded into the booster. After that, we'll launch. You should be there by the time you wake up. Leave the rest of the staff once you get there. Well, that's about it. I won't say there isn't any risk involved. What do you want to do? Space? Let me think about it. I'm going to space? Oh, let's go. Thank you for the good. Honestly, Jackie, but I think that would be a work of art. <laughs> I keep pressing not yet. I am ready. Should I continue taking Adia? I feel like things are gonna go wrong and I feel like I should not take her, but I'm going to. Let's do it. I kind of have to pee. Okay, you need to decide who you're taking. The girl in blue has already undergone cold sleep and has been loaded in. There's room for one more. Hi, Epi! How are you? How you doing? Welcome in. Bum, 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 bum. FF8 is going good so far. If you need a bathroom, a bathroom break, I would recommend doing a next ad, ad break. Okay, I could do that. In the meantime, something must be done to suppress my powers. But it'd be too dangerous for Matron to be all alone. I'm just chilling right now, Epi. I had a pretty like stressful day, like kind of a rough day, but um, so far I am doing okay now. Just as I suspected, I do think like playing Final Fantasy VIII helped cheer me up a bit. Okay, that I can do. <laughs> then let me be your escort, man. Come on, Squall. What do you say, dude? Gnarly. Trust Zell. Why would I never trust Zell? What? I will trust Zell with my life. Okay. I'll leave it in Zell's hands. Oh, yeah. This is the best. <laughs> I think Zell is probably one of my favorite Final Fantasy characters to ever exist ever in the history of ever. He's just so fantastic. Thank you for loving my Zell voice. Uh, I don't know, Epi. It sh your messages are showing up for me. Your messages are definitely showing up for me, so I'm not sure. I have no idea why I would be doing that. You don't see any messages? I see them though. Wait, what? It's Epionic Games is the username. Your messages are definitely posted, but that's probably why, Epi. Activating combat mode. Bees, thank you for the sub. Thank you very much. Let me check. Thank you, thank you. I have no idea why it would be like that, though. Thank you for the sub bees. I hope you enjoy the emotes. Yeah, it looks like nobody else can see your messages, but like I can. But I don't know why only I can. That's very weird. I have no idea why it would be like that. Zell loves his local team, the Space Broncos. What, a, wait, what? Zell and Waka and Riku all in one package. I can also see. Yeah, that's what, I'm not really sure how that works though. 
I don't think it's ever done this before. It might be like a Twitch problem. Either way, we don't have to talk about it in the actual chat. Are they marked as suspicious? It looks like it says that automatically, yeah. Because of like the shared ban stuff. But we don't have to talk about it. We can try to sort it out. I'll, I'll try to figure it out. I honestly have no idea how this Twitch stuff works. Even though I am a Twitch streamer, I feel like they add a bunch of new stuff and I have no idea how it works. <laughs> like, I've never had this type of situation before. So it's kind of new. You have very cute emotes and your community is great. Thank you very much. You can also see, okay, I read that already. But yeah, I think so, hold on. I don't even know how I would troubleshoot it. Hold on one second. Oh, thank you, Jackie. I appreciate it. Sometimes joke bans and other streams can cause this. That's so fascinating. I've literally never had this before. Okay, Plume is gonna check on it for me. <laughs> but let, we'll, we'll move on for now. That's so interesting. I've literally never seen that before. Jackie, no backseating mods. Let Jackie backseat. This is the one thing Jackie can backseat. Okay. I'll do whatever it takes to watch over you. Don't worry about a thing, dude. I just shook my camera, yeah. Zella's Waka and Riku all in one package. Zella's better than Waka and Riku. I said it. Riku's cool though. Waka's, I mean, Waka's all right. But um, I think, I think Waka's just, I don't know. Here's the thing. Waka is very suspicious to me because of how Waka is towards Riku and the Albed. And so I just, I feel like I can never look past any, like any of that. Like Waka is just sus. Exactly, Duo, exactly. This is a Waka hater zone. Waka kind of a bit, he is. Jackie gonna do what Jackie gonna do. Yeah, exactly. But that's why I can't have my son, Zell, compared to Waka. He doesn't deserve that, okay? Also, he came first. Zell came first. So technically, Riku and Waka are like, they took inspiration from Zell, okay? Zell was first. Squall, don't worry about us, man. Matron is a sorceress. Don't forget that. Okay, let me decide who's going. I do love Zell a lot. Wait, R Renoa can come with me now? Hold. What? But I can't take Zell. Okay. And, and Adia can't come with me. Okay, we're gonna... Okay. Wait. Okay. <laughs> I'm like, what just happened? Zell is my son. I really like Zell a lot. Da, 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 da. Is this your party? Yeah. All right, we're going to space. I don't know if I'm taking the right people. I'm kind of upset because I don't want Zell to not come with me. I've never not had Zell and it's making me stressed. I don't want to not have Zell. Waka was just ignorant. He learned at least. Uh, I mean, mm, I don't know. I feel like we didn't really get to see Waka develop enough in Final Fantasy X. Maybe he gets better in X too, but I feel like I did not see enough of that development in X to like come to a final conclusion on that myself. I'm a <laughs> helicopter parent. What does that mean? 
All capsules are in place. Conditions inside the capsules are normal. I have to pee. Can I pee in the capsule? Boosters on standby. All systems normal. Launch error correction, plus two. Orbital correction, minus one. Corrections complete. Go. Clear. 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 It might be worth a shot to try peeing in the capsule. I don't know if it'd be very hygienic. All like overprotective and involved. Oh, okay. Maybe I am a helicopter parent when it comes to Zell, I guess. I would be a terrible parent in real life though. I would be the exact opposite of that in real life, I think. I'm not good at like, like, you know, some people are meant to like have babies and like take care of babies. Um, that's not me. I like, you know how everyone has those memes of like when you go home and you visit your family and they all are like, when are you gonna have kids? Like, when am I gonna have grandkids? And like all that stuff. I have never experienced any of that in my life. Like I heard people at my university would like talk about it and they'd be like, yeah, I went home and my parents and my grandparents were all like, what are you gonna get? Like, do you have anybody? Like, are you dating anybody? When are you gonna have kids? Like, when am I gonna have grandkids? Or like, great grandkids? And I was like, I have never had that before. Like, when I go home, no one asked me that stuff. So then I went home and I was like, mom, why don't you or dad like ever ask like, hey, when are you gonna get together and like have kids? And my mom like looks me dead in the face and she's like, Elise, from a young age, you have like never been interested in babies and like you've never shown interest in it. We just did not think that that was ever gonna happen. And I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> they never asked, they just never asked. But it, it's true. Like when my cousins were born and they were babies, I would get asked all the time if I wanted to hold them for pictures and I would say no. I was a very honest child and I'd just be like, no, I don't. I don't want to hold them. Even if it's just for like five seconds for a photo, no. <laughs> I don't. I'm good. <laughs> I don't want to do it. All right. <laughs> I was like, no, thank you. All right, Epi has been freed. Welcome in. Hello, big mood, your wife and I do not want kids. And that is totally fine. Like if you do not want kids and you know you do want not want kids, that's okay. Your parents finally stopped asking. I'm happy for you. Finally, you get out of, <laughs> get a baby out of spite. No, I won't. Okay, it's time for an ad break. I think we can do this and I can go pee so that I don't pee in this capsule. Um, you respect anyone who decides not to have kids. I mean, I feel like there are people who like really want to have children and all respect. Epi, thank you for the sub for two months. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate it. Thank you. I hope you enjoy my silly little emotes. Ba -da 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 -da. Ba -da 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 -da. Welcome in, Epi. During some key battle, walk up. I mean, that makes sense. But I think the problem that I have with Waka is that like he's not the only person from the place where like he lives and he acts that way, like everyone else acts differently. But I will not get into it because we have some people who are playing Final Fantasy X for the first time in this stream who are chilling. So if we could like avoid talking about Final Fantasy X plot stuff, I would greatly appreciate it because I don't want to spoil it for those people. Um, anyways, I'm gonna do every 30 minutes. You guys already know I failed at it today, but usually every 30 minutes I run a quick ad. Um, and um, we're gonna do that real quick. Cause I'll pet the dog. True. But we're gonna do a quick ad real quick and I'm gonna go run to the bathroom. Um, so yeah, your lady got you started on FF9. I mean, FF9 is good, Platy, as you should. No, it's okay. Um, longest 30 minutes ever. It's totally very long. We totally did it. Also, thank you, Plume. Thank you for your service. I appreciate you very much. Um, but yeah, I'll put up the BRB screen. I'll run a quick little ad. You guys can watch clips of me making a fool out of myself, but I'll see, I'll see y'all soon. Avoid talking about Waka, my pleasure. Well said. Um, totally not my ulterior motive, uh, but okay. I'll be right back real quick.
you not look at me? Wait, why not what? I already forgot what I said. What'd I say? I'm dumb. I said something and I already forgot. Wait, I learned this tutorial. I'm sleeping. any cells i'll literally beat ghost's ass i'm like pretty much the same height as ghost i don't i'm not afraid of ghost olog i'll fight you too square up you all want to fight me let's go you don't know who you're messing with i'll fight you all i'll take you all on don't go hello no -uh. i'm a nice person but i'll st i'll stand up for myself let's go you want to square up let's go <laughs> For the irony, I'm gonna choose the guy with the pointiest <laughs> horn here because I'm really pointy. Ha, I get it. <laughs> nice, nice. Oh, um, the other thing that they did was they added all the DLC in the game that came with Overcooked 2, and then they also have an extra thing. <laughs> they did a little oh, dance. Wow. It went like. <laughs> so yeah. That's That's awesome. Make your choice. Are we doing Overcooked 1, Overcooked 2, or extra? Hold on, let me go back to this. Uh, hold on one second. No! 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 I picked it up! Why did I pick it up? Hi, welcome back, everybody. I did it. Hi. I hope you guys enjoyed whatever ads you got, especially Lizard with that beautiful selection of Vet IQ, American Family Insurance. And Honda and Nintendo Switch. Only one of those is gaming related. That's crazy. It was horror movies. I'm sorry. I'm sorry that you had spooky stuff. But I hope that you are okay and that it wasn't too scary. You actually like how Zell seems like he's going to be the wild card, but it's actually selfie. I don't use selfie enough to know that. But yeah. Thank y'all for helping me through that, especially like Jackie and Plume and all that, because I don't know enough. Two hours and you'll officially on the downside. What is the downside? You're gonna be 36. Happy birthday though. Epically cute, no. That was what happens when you do a three heart challenge and you accidentally grab a heart piece. Or a heart container. I think they'll be all right. They'll be fine. Let's pray for their safe return. Okay, shall we go? Go, Angelo! Oh, pet the dog! Hey, come back! Hey, stop! What the? Wait, I'm controlling Zell! Whoa! There we go. That's important to me. Every time that Zell says whoa is my favorite thing to voice act. Hi, Embo! How are you? Also, thank you, Chief! How's your evening going? Let's go outside! Is it just gonna be me and Adia? Let's go, Queen. You're gonna do something very exciting for your birthday work and sleep. That is exciting, though. There's nothing wrong with that. What is happening? First day training for the new job. Do you like it, though? How are you enjoying your new job? Hold the phone. What the hell is that, man? It's humongous. Isn't that the city over there? Dr. Odine, he might be in danger. Is it Odin or Odine? Well, we'd better head for the city at once. Dr. Odine might know what's going on. 
Okay, time for me to use my last bit of gas. All right, dude, who's coming with us? I am. Okay, so. It's selfie time! Now you get to see selfie. Should I do the junction exchange? I'm gonna have to like exchange it between all three of them, but let's see. Can I get in the car? Why can't I phase through this car? The fuck? Level 13 hype. She's doing great. She's doing good things. It's no offense to Quistus. I do like Quistus. The problem is, is Quistus is a blue mage, and I don't know how to use blue mages except Queena. I don't know if anyone else is like this, but I only know how to use Queena. I do not know how to use any other black mage, in, or black mage, blue mage in Final Fantasy. Like, I've, I, they just don't compute. My two brain cells cannot comprehend other, like, blue mages. I only understand how to use Queena. Quistin doesn't have that palette. So true. It's the lack of frogs. Maybe if, like, Quistus did the froggy jump stuff and the, like, eating of the frogs, it would be better. But Quistus doesn't. Doesn't Queena eat people? Don't question Queena. Did I use blue magic in FF7? It's the enemy. No. I did not. I literally, like, never use blue magic unless I absolutely have to. But, like, Queena, I enjoyed using it. I don't know why. I think Queena is just, like, exponentially better than, like, every blue mage on the planet. Feeling a bit sleepy? At least you stop by. I'm gonna lurk. Oh, no worries, Umpo. Get your sleep, please. I hope that you have a good lurk. Can I get out of the car? Oh, I can't. Can I save on this? Oh, shit. I can't. You were legit asking because... Oh, you haven't met her yet? Um, I don't want to tell you. I think you should just experience it for yourself. Like, I think when you play Final Fantasy IX, you should just experience Queena for yourself. Thank you, bees. I just think Queena is great. Also, let's just talk about... Did you guys know that Jackie cosplayed Queena? Hold on, where are my Jackie emotes? Look at this. This emote is called Cursed, but I think it is actually a blessing. I do not think it is a curse. I think we were all blessed with that cosplay and that emote. Personally. It's like my favorite thing in the entire world. I hope that you all enjoy it. Quistus and Kamari stand out a bit since their blue magic is limit break. I guess that's true. I forgot about Kamari, which is probably not nice, but it's not my fault. He's just very forgettable, okay? It's not my fault. How the frick do I get for Kimari? He'll he'll be okay, I think. Maybe. Maybe. You should try leveling up your blue mage. Oh yeah, I forgot they have a blue mage job job class now. Where do I go in this place? Hello? Out of fuel. Oh no! Oh no, not that. Oh, but I still move slow. I just don't move fast. I still move though. That's kind of nice. Thank you for the solidarity, DZ. Thank you. Kamari hasn't left a big impression. We'll see if that changes. Quiz just was your wife first cosplay. Oh, that's so cool, Redwall. Wait, that's amazing. I would love to see the cosplay photos if you have any. Da, da, da. I love Kamari. Please meet, leave my son alone. You can have your son. I will absolutely leave your son alone. He is benched in every Final Fantasy X playthrough that I have. If you think about it, I am taking what you just said very literally and I leave him alone all the time. He is left alone at every chance that I get. Like, if you, if you genuinely think about it that way, I am leaving him alone. I'm following your orders. Oh, you get... Oh. I thought I was safe. Oh, no worries, Meta. I'm glad that you now know now. Did I junction? No. 
Lucky? No. <laughs> I'm just trying to figure out how to go back into the, you know, little parking place where I rented this car for $3,500. Hi again, JJ. Blue magic is pretty bad for the most part. It's usually, wait, it's usually one or two spells that are broadly useful. I mean, with Queena, I used it for level grinding. That said, Yuna and Titus are your first loves. I don't know what character thing would be my first loves. Where walking is faster than driving. It's just because I ran out of gas. Maybe can I go down that way? I forgot how I came over here. Maybe it was over that way. Let's go back there. We who needs gas? I thought you guys said that the same thing that happens with actual cars would happen here. This does not feel accurate. Hello, Gig Morton. Thank you for the raid. Maybe. Welcome in, raiders. Hello. Thank you for the raid. How are you? How is your stream? Can we get a shout out for Gig Morton? Can I make fuel with abilities? Maybe, but I don't need it. Hello, is it Cybe or Seeb? Hi, Vaughn. Hello, Black Goku Fighters, welcome in. Hold on, let me go over to the actual screen where I can introduce myself. But hello everyone from Gig Morton's Raid. My name is Elise, I am a variety streamer. Um, I stream mostly uh, JRPGs currently, but I do also play some action RPGs as well as um, comfy visual novels. Uh, I basically play any game that's not FPS. I'm not good at first person shooters. Um, I do a lot of cosplay streams. Today we're cosplaying Bridget from Guilty Gear Strive. I just have the hood off because it's very hot. But hello. Thank you for the follow, much appreciated. I have anonymous follows turned on because I don't like calling people out of lurk. If you do want to say hello, we'd love to get to know you. If you'd rather stay lurking, it's totally okay. Wait, which one did I say first? Was it Saib? I'm assuming Saib. But hi, welcome in. How is everybody? You led the raid here. Thank you, Frostlass. That's very sweet of you. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. You're too kind. That's it? Okay, cool. But yeah, welcome in. I'm a very chatty streamer. Um, I like talking with my community a lot. I like hanging out with my community. Um, so I often don't make a ton of progress in games because I'm talking with you all. Um, but that's part of the highlight of my streams. I just really like talking with everyone. Um, right now we're lost in Final Fantasy VIII. But if you want to explore with us, let's do it. Your IRL friends with Cybe. That's so cool. Wait, that's awesome. Hi, Stelios. How are you? Wait, I forgot I'm playing music. <laughs> How are you? I left your door open. Sorry. Wait, Sean, what? What do you mean you left my door open? They met through my stream. That's so cool, Gig. Wait, what do you mean you left my door open, Sean? Did I just take a tank into a public highway? This is my car. This is my vehicle. I saw your door is currently cracked open. Wait, you did? It's open? Oh, it is open. You came back? Don't get me all excited, Sean. Don't lie like that. I was gonna say though, I'm like, Sean, I've been home for like hours. You couldn't have left the door open. <laughs> but no, I'm on a car, I'm just lost. You're doing good, just finished session of living. Oh, I hope you're enjoying that game. I'd like to play it one day. Do I not, where do I go? Yeah, we met for the first time early this year and we saw Nope together. That's so cool. Wait, so everybody from Gigstream, what would you say is your favorite movie or your favorite anime or your favorite game? I've never seen No. Nope. Maybe one day though. Where do I go down? How do I get back into the city? Hello? Jackie had to be a pro gamer for this because I, what the f my two brain cells are struggling. Are you home yet, Sean? Favorite movie, Hot Fuzz, favorite anime, Chobits. Oh, interesting. I haven't seen anybody say Chobits for a long time. Da -da. I've also never seen Hot Fuzz. I'm sorry, please don't hate. Maybe that's where I got out of the car? No, maybe, I don't know. 
Favorite movie is Akiru. Favorite anime is Evangelion. That's a good choice. No, this isn't where I came down. Hot Fuzz is great. Fave movie. Wait, what does ZSJL stand for? I don't know what that stands for. Help. Help me. My favorite movie is Almost Famous. I love it. Zack Snyder's Justice League. Oh, okay. Hi, Sins. How are you? I'm lost, is what's happening. They Almost Famous is my favorite movie. Talladega Nights is your favorite movie. That is a very funny movie. Duh. How are you doing, Sins? I'm currently kind of lost. I think I'm supposed to probably, like... My car is not ha handling this well at all. Plus you hear it isn't a long game. Yeah, I've heard it's a very short game, like a short JRPG, but I don't know when I'd be able to play it. It would be a very long time. You're a massive Snyder fan? Go hard. Uh, JJ, I'm not sure who I'd be raiding into today. I honestly did not know, but I can raid Lainey. I know Lainey, Lainey's pretty cool. I would like to raid Lainey. I didn't even know Lainey was streaming tonight. But that would be cool. I didn't even know that it was her birthday either. That's very cool. I'll be honest, I didn't really have any plans. A lot of the times I just kind of like look at my list and I just do whatever. <laughs> like I just go for whoever. There are some times where I plan it in advance, but not always. But I didn't know it was Lady's birthday. That's so cool. That's exciting. Thank you for letting me know, JJ. I'll be honest, there are a lot of people, like, at, like directors and stuff, whose names I do not know. Like, I'm sure if you told me other movies that Zack Snyder has done, I would know. But I'll be honest, like, I'm really bad with names. I feel like all of you movie buffs would get along really well with my twin sister, and not me. Because, like, I, I love movies, and I know, like, certain people by name, but not everybody. And my, my twin sister, like, knows everyone by name and, like, everything about movies to know about movies. Like, she knows it all. Not me, though. <laughs> I... I'm not the best at it. You're the one who actively goes to TIV every year. True. Dawn of the Dead. Oh, okay. I've seen 300. I've seen Dawn of the Dead, I think. Does she recite movies? Yeah, she does. She was banned from playing Seen It in our family. Do you guys ever remember that, like, game that you could play with family members? called seen it where it would like show okay go off so where it would play like scenes from movies and then it would ask you a question about either the movie that was shown or like the scene that was shown um and like it had that she was banned from playing that game because one time she walked in and she didn't even see the clip that played beforehand and she answered the question and she got it right like she wasn't even playing the game with all of us. She just walked in and she was like, oh, it's this. And she won. And so we were just like, what the fuck? Like she wasn't playing, but she just got the answer right without even seeing the clip. She was banned for a while. Cause if you had Megan on your team or if she was playing by herself, she just won every time. You should post that for sure. I think we're spending this last half of stream just being lost here and me not figuring out how to go back into the city. How do I get back in here? Maybe I go that way. Do you guys like my little cruise? Like my little cruising drive? I hope you're all enjoying this. How the fuck did I get in here? Hi, Tony, how are you? Can I drive off that highway? I'm going to try right here. Oh, hell yeah, I did it. Literally the scenic route, we are chilling. Gonna head out, got some D&D prep to finish. No worries, have a good night. Thank you for hanging today. Thank you so much for hanging out today. I appreciate it. All right, we're going back. I should probably junction as well. I did save up there. Thank you for loving the skull kid alert. I appreciate that too. 
Majora's Mask is my favorite Zelda game, so I felt like I had to have at least one alert that paid homage to it, and I didn't know which one would. Like, I thought about doing, like, Song of Healing and, like, other little stuff, but I don't know. I think this works better. How the frick do I get back to Presidential Palace? Maybe we go there? No, we go to Odine's Laboratory. You're excited for Majora's Mask? I have to finish a three heart challenge of Majora's Mask. I started one and I haven't finished it. Oh, I'm cute. I hope you like it. It's my absolute favorite, but I know it's not like everyone's favorite. I'll be honest. I know it gets a lot of um, criticism, but it is really good. I'm going to get off here because I have to redo the route. She was so sweet. You couldn't even contain yourself. I'm glad that they were nice. It always makes me happy. Let's go to city entrance. You love Majora's Mask, so it's a great game. So does this game, oh look how good it is. This game is amazing so far. I, I don't know, like I feel like I had different expectations for Final Fantasy VIII. A lot of people um, made it seem like this game was like very divided and like not good and just so different and I'm very glad that I played it and experienced it myself because I feel like I truly like it. Hi, Jim! I talked about you earlier. I was talking about how cool it is, how like you can meet so many interesting people from other people's communities and how like being in other people's communities has introduced me to so many like fun people. And I talked about how I, I'm still new to Jackie's community, but I met you and I stole your grandma's ears. <laughs> But you're still really cool. <laughs> By the way, everybody, jump streams. Let me just shout out to <laughs> I like how I'm just like casually admitting this. Yeah. By the way, hmm, you what? It's a it's a joke, but also it's a really great joke. Okay, it's divided among the fan base, but it's great. I think it's really good. I don't think it should be very like. I I mean, I get it. I get why it's also divided. Like if you played a different one right before it and then you went into this one, I could see how it'd be like, whoa, what's going on? <laughs> but I think it's a very nice experience. Also, thank you for the follow, much appreciated. Hello? What is going on? Can I not get in here? Oh yeah, I can. What the frick? Hello. As someone who went from seven to eight back in the day, it was a very different experience. I think so, but I think it's different in like a good way. I think sometimes games like this that like challenge that mold that was already created for the series are nice. Like they're, it's like a, a breath of fresh air in a way. And that's not to say like I dislike Final Fantasy VII. I loved playing OG Final Fantasy VII. I just feel like this is so different and it's so nice. Hi Jacob, how have you been doing? How are you? Hello, hello. How are you doing by the way, Jim? But yes, I did, I did talk about thieving the ears. It was a, it was a good time. The best side quest ever in Zelda. Very true. Majora's Mask has some great, great side quests. Wait, Puzzles, hi! Hi, Puzzles. How are you? I totally missed that message. I'm terrible. I'm sorry. Majora's Mask seems great. You've watched 100% playthroughs of it, and you'd probably like it a lot. Your only Zelda you've played is Breath of the Wild. I definitely recommend it. I think the only thing I would say about um, playing older Zelda games, if you've only played Breath of the Wild, is just to know how different they are. But if, you ha if you've watched it, you already know. So I hope you enjoy it when you do play it. You feel like 8 has grown on people more over the years? That's probably true. It's nearly midnight in your area. Good night, everyone. Good night, Red. Have some good sleep. It was nice seeing you. Thank you for chilling tonight. I am also tired, but I'm still doing okay. Um, I'm going to have to do the switch, the junction switch. You love Majora's Mask, smaller world, but so detailed. That's So my biggest complaint with... Um, with Final Fantasy, not Final Fantasy, oh my god. My biggest complaint with um, Breath of the Wild is that the world was so huge, but it felt small in the sense of like, I felt like I saw repeat stuff more often if that makes sense. Like, I felt like I just saw a lot of the same stuff and it didn't really feel like I was exploring, like, unique things. Trying to watch the baseball game without stressing. That's why I'm not watching the baseball game. <laughs> 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 
I refuse. I will be chilling here, okay? I will not be watching it. You're off to work. Good luck at work, puzzles. I hope that you're able to get some more rest later. I'm sorry that you're tired. But yeah, I've always loved Majora's Mask because even though it was small, there was so much in it to explore, to do with side quests, like so many different NPCs to talk to where like they actually had their own individual stories. It was amazing. Like I just, I love that game so much. I could gush about it for like 10 hundred years. I won't, but I could. You watched it back in 2011, so you probably forgot a lot of the ins and outs. Yeah, I would say just be prepared for a very different experience. That happens with most of us. The problem with eight is it came after seven, which created a surge in popularity. So seven newcomers in the series weren't used to that. That's true. You're doing well, but it's 5 40, 43 a.m. and you just got now got home. Please get your rest, Gem. I'm okay. I'm vibing tonight. I had a very rough day today, but I'm chilling. I'm playing some Final Fantasy VIII. I'm making some progress. Your grand grand's ears are doing fine. They're serving me well. I can hear very well today. It's my favorite Zelda game too. Look at that. You have great taste. This is this is why you're cool. You have great taste. Side quests were done so well. They were. You're smarter than me. You haven't learned. It's it's a difficult thing, you know. You'll get there though. You'll learn. I believe that thing sank into the sea 17 years ago. Activating what? combat mode. Wait, Jem. Thank you for the sub with Prime. Thank you so much, what the fuck? I hope you enjoy my emotes. They're very silly. I don't have a crying tea just like you do, but thank you. I do have a twerking Zack though. You can put your like crying tea just next to the twerking Zack. I think I have like a new like holy trinity of emotes. If you, have put, if you put, I don't have Jem's emotes yet, but if you put Jackie's Queena next to Zack, and then you put like the crying Titus on the other side, I feel like that's like a holy trinity of emotes. Was this always here? Yeah. <laughs> I do the middle finger a lot. Okay, please don't use my queen. <laughs> Why not, Jackie? Please, it's so good. Look at this. Look at this, you're gonna head out now. No worries, Kirby, have a good sleep. Thank you. You can also spam the Squall Jam. You can do that too. I do love the Squall Jam. It's a good emote. I just use this. The poop emote is iconic. I think that emote will be eternal. But yeah, good night, Kirby. It was good to see you. I hope you have a good rest. I feel like it's already almost nine and I definitely did not make as much progress as I thought I would, but it's okay. We are totally killing it. We're gonna have to continue. <laughs> we haven't even gone to space yet. <laughs> and that's okay. Thank you for the follow, much appreciated. I do have anonymous follows turned on because I don't like calling people out of lurk. If you do want to say hello and introduce yourself, I'd love to get to know you. If you rather stay lurking, it's totally okay. Bye, Scythe, have a good sleep. Thank you for chilling and coming hello. over here. GD, I just saved like five times and I'm saving again. Perceive my saving. But hi, GD, how are you? Am I playing on OG hardware? I am playing on my PS TV. Um, the most used, I love that emote. That pain emote is so accurate. It's so good. But I'm playing on my PS TV. I'm gonna show you guys uh, other games that I have on my PS TV. Cause I, I wish I could play on original hardware, but I, I don't have a retro tink. Jacob, thank you for the bonk. Thanks. But here you go. I have Sui Coden. I have Legend of Dragoon, I have Vagrant Story, I have Final Fantasy IV, I have Final Fantasy Tactics, I have Dissidia du I have, a, that's the official name by the way, I have Alundra and I have Lunar, and I have Final Fantasy IX and I have Parasite Eve. You are bonking GD, oh okay, never mind, you can bonk GD, that's fine, you can go back and do that. Um, but yeah, PS TV, it's basically like, uh, it's a component that you can purchase where it's like having your PS Vita, but playing it on a TV. And so alas, this is how I do it. I can show you guys what's in the store too, if you want to see it. I can show you guys what games I have downloaded too. Cause not all of them are here. We, it's fun. You guys are the bonk bros, noted. But see, like these are all the PS1 clouds classics go buy a tales game let's see ps tvs are kind of the best but they're now like overpriced as hecky 
I can get Sonic games. You see that? Look at that. Oh. Have you played all those? I have not played most of those except Nine and Parasite Eve, I think. Um, those are all planned. Wait, how, which ones did I show again? Yeah, I've played Nine, I've played Parasite Eve, and I've not played the others. And obviously I'm playing this one. Duh. Thanks. I think there was one exclusive to this. Maybe, let's find out. But this, it probably won't be in the PS1 classics, would it? Maybe? I don't know. There's Tactics Ogre, but that's getting remade, so maybe don't. Let us cling together? That's such a cute title. Wait. There's Tekken. Hold on. I don't know who Tom Clancy is, but he made a shit ton of games. Goddamn, look at that. What the fuck? Who is that? Tomb Raider, which I will never play, because not these ones. These ones I've heard are so hard, and I like living. We could, Jackie, we could. I like this plan. <laughs> I like this plan. Twisted Metal, I don't know what that is. Wait, did I, what the? Wait, Tails is TA. Thank you for the follow. This is in the classics though, so maybe, maybe it's not. They have Parappa the Rapper. Hello, is it Purdue? If I'm saying that wrong, this is the one time you can yell at me. But like I have Castlevania, I have Xenogears. What else? Breath of Fire. And then I have Zero Escape, I have Danganronpa. Final Fantasy 7. Yeah, it's coming out in November, I think. Maybe. Yeah, Tactics Ogre is getting remade. But yeah, thank you for the follow. How are you doing today, Purdue? I love... Oh, I have Dino Crisis. That's what else I have. Why is it all the way down here, though? Yeah, I have Dino Crisis. Tales of Eternia was also on the PSP. It doesn't look like it's here, though. I could try looking up just Tales, though. Just jam out to the PSN store music. Let's go. Everyone pronounces it differently and you love it. Which is the correct pronunciation though? I want to be right. I want to be correct. What's the right way to say Why did I say that so aggressively? I want to be right. Okay. <laughs> Tales of Hearts, oh, yeah, our oh, legacy. Yeah, oh, yeah. Tales from Space, which is definitely not a Tales of game, but that's really funny. Tales of Hearts, there, it's a costume pack. Add-on content? Where's the actual content? You can finally spam. Yes, you can. Spam that. Go for it. Breath of Fire, do I have three? I have three on my 3DS. <laughs> Tales of Hearts pop. What the fuck is with the costumes? Where's the game? Hello? Why are there so many outfits? Where's the game? There it is. Tales of Hearts. I just wanted to see the game to make sure that they had it. Why is all the DLC at the top? I need the game first. I do want to be right. I don't know about this Tales game other than it exists. I don't know anything about it. It looks it, it looks like Tales. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that worm. It's very phallic. We need Duo. Where's Duo? But yeah, I do have three somewhere. And the Nonary games are very great. I still have to play a second one game shoved in the middle. Yeah, they just put it. Why wouldn't the game be the most relevant result? You would think so, but not here. It's just smack dab in the middle for $30. Whoa, it's $30? That's a lot of money to me. <laughs> Almost all the games that I buy on here are really cheap. Like, let me, what was I going to look up actually? I don't know. Almost midnight. Good night, Daft. I don't know what else I could show, but like they're not really expensive, these ones. Like see how they're like $3? Armored Core. I know Plume likes Armored Core. It's like $6. Black Rock Shooter as a game? But yeah, good night, Daft. I hope you have a good sleep. I appreciate everyone being here and help cheering me up when sh since Sean went home. Eternia was too hard. You cheated and you still couldn't beat the final boss. What the f- If it requires a specific input, I'd be so bad. You can't think of many PS1 games. I know Sui Coden exists and like Sui Coden 2. There's Breath of Fire. But Sui Coden 2 isn't on here because they hate good times. Um Sean did go home already. He flew home today. Card Shark. Championship base. If I bought this, would you guys watch me play this? Be honest. It's a PS1 classic. It's a retro game. <laughs> Hit the 
lakes in this realistic base simula ba bass simulation? Bass simulation. You have so many tricks in your arsenal, but do you have what it takes to reel in the big one? Do I have what it takes? Do you guys think I have what it takes to reel in the base? <laughs> Maybe once is a gag. You don't want to watch me play the whole championship base game? Bass game? Hi, Wandering Pretty. Welcome in. I think this would be great. I think this would be a good, a good game. Chess? They have chess, the game. Cho and Iki. Fascinating. Six dollars, what a steal. Thank you for supporting me. Thank you for supporting me, Jackie. In fact, I've always been hoping you would. Thanks, Jade Cocoon was a fun one. I'll do it just for you. It'll be just for you. Sounds too hard. You don't think I could do it? I think I could do it. There's Chrono Trigger? Wait, Chrono Trigger's on here? I had no idea. Shut up. It's $10. Whoa. Whoa. I didn't know Chrono Trigger was on the PSTV. That's awesome. Cool Borders, what's that? The Black Rock shooter game is pretty good. Nothing to write home about. Okay, noted. I will become the cha champion of the of the, ba of the of the bass, the bass, the booba, the, the, the booba. <laughs> you know what? I didn't intend to say that, but I could become the champion of that. I guess. I've heard Corpse Party is good. I don't know which one is first. <laughs> I think this one's first. Somebody told me to play this. You heard PS1 Chrono Trigger is pretty bad. Maybe we won't play that one, Victorio. I've already played it before. They have Darkstalkers on here. But yeah, there's Dino Crisis. I bought this one. I'm, I did not buy the second one. You played it on Steam, Corpse Party. I feel like I could definitely play it on there. Wait, they have all these Disney games. They have Hercules, Lilo and Stitch, Peter Pan. Wait, the Emperor's New Groove had a video game? Whoa. No way. I want to be this. I want to play this game. Wait. It's only like $6. That's crazy. There's a bug. I did not know a bug's life had a game. That's crazy. <laughs> I like. It's a platformer. Never mind. We're not playing Emperor's New Groove. I'm sorry to disappoint all of you. I can't play platformers. There are two types of games that were created to um, make me look bad because I'm so bad at them. And the two types of games are platformers and first person shooters. But how have you been doing, Prinny? How are you today? Like Bugs Bunny Lost in Time? I've never played that before. Wait, George by Wait, George loves the Bugs Life game? I've learned new things today. I don't know what I'm gonna do with this knowledge. But yeah, there's a lot. There's a lot of retro games in here. It's kind of insane. And also like I want to buy them all, but I can't afford them all. Like they're cheap, but they're not that cheap. Like here's tactics. Final Fantasy three is on here. I don't know if the Final Fantasy three on here is good, but I considered getting this one instead of getting the like pixel remaster. Fighting games except Smash doesn't count. I don't mind fighting games. I'm just not good at them. Help, what happened, Sean? What do you need help with? My cat is attached to me. <gasps> Wait, Nala pictures! Where are the Nala pictures? Give me the Nala pictures! Ah, I want more Nala content! Where's Nala? Can we see Nala? Can you, can you send me pictures, please? She's probably missed you this whole time. Everybody, for those who don't know, Sean has a cute cat and her name is Nala and this is what she looks like. This, this is, this is Nala. Please, please perceive the beautiful kitty. Hi, David. She's all over you. She missed you. She's such a good bean. Look at how cute she is. <laughs> Hi, Nala. Thank you for your message. I love you. Did you know that, Nala? I think you're so cute and great. Thank you for blessing us with your words. <laughs> she is typing. She's talking to me. She could be talking to all of you, but do the remaster of FO3, trust me. Okay, noted. Wait, five's on here too. Whoa. Flick fishing. Guys, there's more fishing games. What if I became a fish ga gaming streamer? Would you guys like all love me still? <laughs> be honest. Grandia's on here? I didn't know that. 
But why isn't Grandia 2? Is that PS2? Maybe it's PS2. I don't know. Hamster Corporation! The Fireman. That's bullshit. Why did the Hamster Corporation make a Fireman game? What the hell? Are there hamster games? Thank you for sending me a photo. I'm gonna look at it right now. She's so cute! Look at her! Can I show everybody else? It's just your arm in the picture. I'm gonna show everybody else. Because I think that they deserve to see cute little Nala. Okay? Your arm is in the picture, but that's fine. It's okay. You guys get to see Sean's arm and Nala. Look at her. That's her ear. But look at her! Look at her! I, oh, I love her so much. I miss this cat. I miss Sean too, but I also miss this cat. I haven't seen her in a long time. Look how cute she is. Look at the kitty! We love to see it. Look at that. Oh, she's so cute. Sean was gone for three ar like three months. Three arms? Three months. So she's missed him quite a lot. Look at all these Harvest Moon games. I can't take my arm from her. She's attached to me. Let her pet, like, let her lick your arm first a little bit. Maybe she'll eat your arm. I don't know. Maybe that's what she's, she's like training to eat your arm. Kitty. Yeah, it's a kitty. So is Quinn's cat trying? Yeah, she's typing. She's typing to us. Why is it blurry? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know. Da -da. P4. Wait, Kalandra, you're playing P4? One day I'll play that. Grande is a great game, by the way. I need to play P3. If she wants to eat your arm, you simply let her. Exactly. Oh, wait, it's me. <laughs> you have to get used to it again. Wait. Interesting. Jelly Pops, what's that? There's so many games. I think Trails in, so in the Sky is like on here. Yeah, we had a lot of Harvest Moon games, I guess. Oh wait, Shimigami Tensei, Persona 3 Portable. Yeah, they have the P P3P. P P P P P P P P P Um, and then they have Persona 2 Innocent Sin. Let me just show you guys what Persona games they have. I know that we've become just a PSN store gamer, but like this is just so you guys know like how I'm gonna play other games. Is Legend of the Gaia? I don't know. Let's check. <laughs> Luck please October. What? <laughs> what are these search terms? Hold on. P4, loving it. My first Persona game. My first Persona game was P5. Which I liked. I started Persona Persona 4 Golden, but I never I never finished it. Started on my PSP actually. Legend of the Gaia, yeah. You never finish, maybe you're wrong. I don't know. There's just so many games on here. No, it doesn't look like it is. But there's Legend of Heroes Trails in the Sky. Isn't this the first Trails game? I might play it on here. Is the first of a new trilogy in the established- Wait, what's the fuck? What is the other Legend- Like, Legend of the Heroes games? Mega Man Legends. I've never played a Mega Man game. You love a PSN store stream. Thank you. But yeah, they have some Trails games. And then, let's see. As long as my PSTV never dies, we will be playing so many games on here. I do know that there's better, like, versions on other stuff, so that's why I, I'm not going to be playing P3P on here, for example. But let's see. Persona Dancing? But there's Persona 2 Eternal Punishment. So, quick question. I would play Persona 2 Eternal Punishment and Innocent Sin, right? That's how that would work. Your Vita is basically a Persona machine. There are so many games that you can like play on Vita. I have too many, and it's just PS1 classic stuff for the most part. Legend of a guy like Kevin the guy, true. Yeah. Didn't know HI Octane was still listed. I think it is, yeah. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Is there a game called Trag on here? You told me about this one, Chief. It's not on there. I checked. Okay, so Innocent Sin and then it's Eternal Punishment first, though, right? Which one's first? I don't know. But yeah, there's a lot. Yeah, there's Innocent Sin. What Prinny said. Innocent Sin comes before. Okay, so Innocent Sin first. Alright, that's not terrible. What about Jumping Flash 2? Not before I played Championship Bass. Are you joking? First on the list is Championship Bass, okay? 
Bass, bass, boohooba. <laughs> that is what is happening, okay? I saved already, right? Let's just save one more time. <laughs> Championship. Bass is a top priority. Yeah, I need to become the best fisher person in the world. I just can't remember if I saved, okay? Don't judge me. But all right, my friends, I think this is time for me to end stream. One, because I think I'm getting delirious. And I'm, I just, I think maybe before I purchase championship base on stream or bass or whatever you say, I don't know how you say this fish's name, but I think this is where we're going to end stream for today. Thank you for the follow. Much appreciated. I do have anonymous follows on stream just because I don't like calling people out of lurk. Um, but if you do want to say hello, we'd love to get to know you. If you'd rather stay lurking, it's totally fine. Um, but yeah, thank you all for hanging out with me today. It was a rough day because Sean had to fly home and I'm going to miss him a lot. But at least I got cute Nala pictures and I got to hang out with all of you. That's Those are the plus sides. And you guys also all get to see cute little Nala. And that's great. And thank you all for cheering me up and for being here for me. I appreciate it. Thank you to everybody um, who raided. Uh, yeah, thank you to Slamma who raided. Thanks for everybody for sticking around when my computer blue screened earlier. I appreciate it. Um, but yeah, thank you to everyone who raided. We had like a number of raids today and I really appreciate it. Thank you Gig for raiding. Uh, thank you Jeremiah for raiding. Thank you Slamma for raiding. I appreciate it very, very much. Um, thank you to everybody who gifted subs and who resubbed and all that stuff or sub with Prime, all that good stuff. I hope you enjoy your Zacky Twerk emotes and all my other Silly Willy um, emotes. You did, J6! But I will be streaming again on... Um, Two, no, not two, today's Tuesday. I'll be streaming again on Thursday. I'll be starting at like 6 p.m. Um, I'll be streaming for f five hours? Yeah, five hours that day. So that's the only reason why I'm kind of calling it short today, I think, um, is just because I'm gonna be streaming for five hours. I'm gonna be streaming from six to 11. It's gonna be part of the All Hallows stream raid train. Really cute side quests. Oh. That's very sweet, Patas. Maybe one day I'll play a Mega Man game, but they're like platformy, so I don't know. Yeah, Thursday is the raid train. Um, I think we're gonna raid Lainey today because it's Lainey's birthday, so stick around. We're gonna pass the love over to Lainey. One moment. I just wanna make sure. Yeah. We, we gonna raid Lainey. Oh, no worries. Thanks for spending your time with me. As always, you guys already know this, but it means a lot to me that y'all could spend your night anywhere doing anything and y'all choose to spend a little bit of it with me. So thank you very much. Um, but yeah, I'll see you guys all on Thursday. We're going to pass the love over to Lainey. If you want to join the humble discord, there is the link. It's never required, but if you want my silly little emotes in discord or if you want to hang out, all of my chaos is basically contained in there as much as I can. Um, sometimes it seeps out into other people's discords and for that I apologize, maybe. Um, and if you want to follow me on all of my socials, I have a Twitter, I have an Instagram, it's over there. And I have a YouTube and a TikTok and all that jazz. Um, but that's pretty much it. I think we'll do the little Rady Rady Roo now. Oh my God, I'm so bad at doing basic streamer things. <laughs> If you have my emotes, you can spam this beauty. If you don't have my emotes, you can spam this beauty. And if you're just in a silly, goofy mood, you can spam the dab. But yeah, I'll see you guys all on Thursday. It'll be my last stream before my vacation. Um, I love you all. See you later. Bye.